Greetings, brothers and sisters. We bear witness there is no God but one. There is no God with him. There is no God besides him. There is no God equal to him. He is God alone, master of creation. He alone is the true sender and teacher of all holy prophets and of all holy apostles. We thank him for his divine mercy, for sending and times past prophets with the message of hope and then revealed himself to his servants the apostles to open up what the prophets have said and then manifest his own self between the prophets and the apostles came right between both of them glory to God he sent the prophets out ahead of his flesh. Gathered disciples during the time of his flesh. And then sent them throughout the world when he left here. To pick up where he left off. And after Jesus ascended above all heavens and gave the commandments to his apostles. They help the teachings to the letter. The apostles did not deviate from Jesus. And if they didn't do it, neither will we. We are indebted to God for his goodness and his mercy as we are here this evening to witness the close of another year. Combined with our men's and women's conference. I'm glad for you that I've made it so far. I'm pretty sure there's many on the road on their way here. But it is good for us to be here. I must say that 2015 has been a very, a very profitable year for the truth of God. One thing I said about God, he have never allowed any year to come and go. And we went backward in the process or stood still. Where in most churches, you know, they just go in a circle or don't go nowhere or go backward. We have went forward and have never looked back. Ever since God Almighty brought us out of the spiritual land of Egypt. Delivered us from the world. And opened our eyes to falsehood. You know your eyes got to be open to falsehood. You see if your eyes is not open to falsehood you will stay there. Make your home there. And then die there. And go to hell from there. But one of the greatest days of your life and mine. Was when God interrupted our life. Can you bear witness to God interrupting your life? Glory to God. You know sometime when. Someone interrupt your life, they disturb your peace. <laughs> Amen. When you're out there in the world, you, you got some peace going on. <laughs> Having a big time celebrating the devil's existence. <laughs> you didn't know that's what you was doing when you were a sinner? When you were a sinner, you were celebrating 
the devil's existence. <laughs> Loving him. Working for him. Being dedicated to him. Showing your loyalty. Patronizing his ideology. Embracing his philosophy. You were committed. You, you were so close connected to the devil until he called you his son. And called others his daughters. And he declared himself to be your father. So I say what? Oh yes. Did you not hear the Bible says ye are of your father the who? Who? Glory to God. Now there are millions of you that's watching this morning and this afternoon and tonight. The devil's still your father. And he's mad at me because I'm encouraging his son and daughter <coughs> to leave the family. <laughs> yeah. I'm encouraging you now. Leave the family. <laughs> Amen. Leave it. Commit treason. Against your father, the devil. Because right. sometimes your father work through what you call friends. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You know the beautiful thing when you're able to look back in the time past, especially in New Year's Eve, you wouldn't be in church. Am I right, I said? Yeah. There's not a brother that's up here who's now laboring with us in word and doctrine. Years ago, you wouldn't be in church. You that are watching, and you that are listening, many of you are in some church to celebrate New Year's. But your church celebration is no different than your club celebration. Because you're still worshiping the devil. Right. You know, the devil now got it fixed. You don't have to celebrate him and worship him just by going to club and party and drinking. No. He made it very convenient for you. <laughs> he said, if you want to still celebrate him, he'll build a church for you. <laughs> mm hmm. Camouflage it. He has set up a church and give you a preacher. Maybe your daddy. Or he'll call your husband. Or call your son. Give him a dream at night after he ate some ham. <laughs> ate some ham and some pig ears and some llama beans and give him a belly full. Amen. Drunk a Pepsi to wash it down. <laughs> Amen. Lay on a low pillar. <laughs> Glory to God. Then the devil will creep into his late night vision. Give him a dream that he's standing in front of people. That's right. With some type of shiny suit, sparkling. Or he'll put a robe on him. That's right. See, the devil don't care what he got to do to lure you. Yeah. You know, a dream is like bait. It lures religious suckers into the pulpit. Yeah. And then make fools out of them by the thousands. That's right. Oh, the day that God opened my eyes, it was and it is so far. The greatest day of my life. But there's a day coming that's going to be greater than that. Now that's the day that we're working so hard for. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. So we're grateful. I'm glad for all of our ministers that were able to make it this evening. And to all of our brothers and sisters that are watching and listening throughout India and Africa and Canada and South America, all in the Caribbean you that is in the Asia Minor continent areas that love the truth of God. You know, people are 
catching this program by the millions. Yeah. I'm very pleased with our mail. It just piles up and get back up. People that have caught this message and wasn't looking for it. Yeah. Wasn't looking for it at all, but caught it. Mm -hmm. One of my secretaries was telling me how somebody was putting in internet reggae gospel. Mm. They were looking up reggae gospel. Lord. And I came on. Don't ask me how that happened. I don't know and I don't care, but <laughs> if you want reggae, man, <laughs> I got a good gospel to give you. Got a good. And when they heard our voice, they've been locked on ever since. Many people went on the internet looking for everything else mm -hmm. and was caught by the gospel. Mm -hmm. Some went on internet looking for Something of the devil <laughs> looking for death yeah. and found life instead. Yeah. If you have a desire to be right, God will lead you to the truth of God. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. He'll lead you right to it. I don't care how hard haired how stubborn, how high minded, how rich you are. Rich man, rich woman. Here, get this. You don't have more than God. No. You own little plots of land and little houses and businesses. Got a few million or a few billion. That's right. Hmm. And think of it. Out of all the rest you have, you don't even own the breath in your nostrils. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Got a house. Got a multi-billion dollar company. Bentleys and Rolls. And yet... You can't even afford to keep. You don't even have enough money to buy yeah. the breath in your nostrils. That's right. Mm -hmm. You see, God owned that. Yeah. He got it fixed that way that when he called for you, glory to God, glory to God. When he called for you, your money can't help you. Bank account can't answer for you. You can't jump in your Bentley and outrun them. Your stock will go down. Amen. Because your breath answers to God. Yeah. So enjoy your money while you have it, wallowing in it like a pig in mud. But your God shall come. Oh, yeah. And just like God is coming for the rich, he's coming for the poor. 2015, there was a lot of wickedness and madness that have took place all around the world. Bloodshed, murder, act of racism. Yeah. The endorsement of the governmental love for homosexuality. Thank God, but the end is not yet. But it's coming. Oh, yeah. Many of you have backslid. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Preach, 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 preach. But in the midst of your backsliding, you're right back out there dancing, smoking, drinking, gambling. Yeah. You was in the church last year, but now you're in a club somewhere or your home watching me now That's with right. the can of beer. That's right. Taking a church break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, God, but you had never outrun God. No, no. Even the prophet asked a, a question Where shall I flee? Yeah. From your presence. Yeah. I don't care if you got a mansion as big as this room, your bathroom as big as this auditorium. And this auditorium can, close, can hold quite a, quite a many hundreds. But you bear in mind, you know one thing I love about God? He comes wherever you are and just come get you and take you out the world. That's right. You can run in the bathroom, turn the light off, sit in your toilet and hide. He'll kill you while you're sitting there. Yeah. 
Rich man, get happy. Go down to your vault. Count your money. He had stopped your heart from functioning while you got a Benjamin in your hand. That's right. Hmm? That's right. I want you to understand. It is God you're dealing with. Amen. Not mother nature. No. I'm talking about God. God is not your mother. No. When you talk about God, now you're talking about life. Yes. And God promised us life and that more abundantly. That's right. And no gospel on the earth mm -hmm. is even designed to connect you to God. Other than what God gave his apostles. That's right. Oh, them brothers, they walked with them and talked with them and handled him and sat with him and ate the lessons that he gave them. Mm. Witnessed the things that he done. Studied him. The apostles studied Jesus. Right. And after they close observance of him, witnessed his death. He come back and appear to them to reassure them mm -hmm. that everything that he said is true. That's right. Show them his hands, feet, third one, thrust your hand into my side. I want to make sure that you go out right. It is I, myself. What you want me to do? Handle me. Check me out. Look me over. Thank God. Somebody asked me. They called me from Jamaica last night, an elder in some church. They said, Pastor Jennings, when Jesus rose from the dead, did he go straight into heaven? I said, no. He said, I said, no, he didn't go straight into heaven. No way. He said, well, where's it at in the Bible to prove? He said, I, because I want to be able to prove what I said. Mm -hmm. Give me the 15th chapter of 1 Corinthians, begin at verse 1. 1 Corinthians 15, and we're at the first verse. Moreover, brethren, I... He rose, but his work wasn't done. Right. There was work he had to do when he was flesh and blood. Then there was work he had to do in a glorified state. That's right. Hmm? Still had to do some more Still. teaching. Right. Because remember, while he was here, they didn't understand everything he was putting down. No way. He died and come back. Mm -hmm. Then, open he. they understand. That's right. So they can understand the scripture. You know why we're here tonight? Not just to hear scripture, mm -hmm. but to understand scripture. Understand. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. We're not here just to hear scripture. But we're here to understand scripture. That's it. When I understand scripture, I understand the thinking of God. That's right. The judgment of God. The God's way of doing things. Yeah. Let me show you how when he rose, he still hung around. First Corinthians 15, we'll start at verse 1. Mm -hmm. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you. Moreover. What do you mean, brother Paul? I have to bring you the gospel over, over. and over and over That's right. and over and over. Right. And how often must I do it? More over. I got to keep doing it. Amen. Some people write me, don't you have anything else to preach? No. No. Mm -mm. I have to bring what Same. Jesus brought. That's right. And what Jesus brought is what the apostles brought. Yeah. And we're not deviating, we're not adding, no, we're not no. taking it away. No way. We want to leave it just like the Lord our God have it. That's right. Listen at this now. Moreover, brethren. Moreover, brethren. I declare unto you the gospel which I preach unto you. I declare you, unto you the gospel that I preach unto you. Which also ye have received. Which ye have received. And wherein ye stand. Wherein ye stand. You got to stand. And the same gospel we give you mm -hmm. over and over mm -hmm. and over. That's right. For what? By which also ye are saved. Do you hear this? Ye you that are here, you that are listening, mm -hmm. and you that are watching. Mm -hmm. You are saved on what term? If. If. Ye keep in memory. If you remember. What I preached unto you. What 
the word of God said. Um, and if I don't keep and remember what the word of God said, what good is my belief? Unless she have believed in vain. Amen. Amen. Mm. Religious world, get me now. I want to soak you good. That's right. Nobody that goes to church mm -hmm. going is any good. Amen. Unless you keep in memory. You keep in memory. What I preached unto you. What was preached by the apostles. Unless. Unless. Ye have believed in vain. If you go to church and don't remember that God never called and sent a woman to preach the gospel. Yeah. What good is it that you went there? In vain. It's in vain. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's right. If you go to church and you don't remember that divorce it's wrong. Mm -hmm. What good is you going to church? In vain. Hallelujah to God. Amen. You got to remember what it says. That's right. That's why we're warning the world. Everybody. Come out of your churches. That's right. Amen. Souls reached out to us in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hallelujah. We sent one of the ministers from Portland down to Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Baptized them there in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Souls reached out to us last month, St. Louis, Missouri. Amen. We contact Oklahoma. Oklahoma went to St. Louis, baptized them there Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Souls now is reaching out to us out of Peru mm. and out of Brazil. Mm -hmm. Want the word of God. You know the people are hungry. Amen. And I'm a firm believer that people would do better if someone took the time out to teach them. Yeah. Because the preachers, they fell asleep long time ago. That's right. That's right. Amen. Woman called from Montgomery, Alabama. Mm -hmm. And asked the question, where did y'all get that man from? <laughs> she said she never heard nothing like it. Hallelujah. Many people ask me, where did I come from? Right. Amen. I come from God. Mm -hmm. At the appointed time, I'll go, go to God. God. That's right. Oh, he's beside himself. He said he's God. No, I did not. No. Oh, there ain't nobody come from God but Jesus. No, 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 no. L listen, you're watching a man that came from God. I come from God. I didn't mm -hmm. say I came from heaven. No. I come from God. No, no. You that are watching me, you came from God. That's right. You just too stubborn and hell bound to serve him. That's right. Huh? That's right. Listen at this. By which also ye are saved. By which also you delivered. If ye keep in memory. If you remember. What I preached unto you. What I preached unto you. Unless you believe. In vain. in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all. Now listen at this. Mm -hmm. The apostles got the message. Amen. And it is plainly written. I delivered unto you. First of all. First of all. That which I also received. What the apostles got Amen. from Jesus, mm -hmm. that's what they're supposed to give you. That's right. And that's what they gave you. That's right. Viewers, I'm saying I have to say this. The truth of God message is what we got from Jesus. Amen. It's a hand-me-down hand message. Me down. That's right. That's right. It's not torn. No. It's not worn. No, no. But it is a hand-me-down message. That's right. What do you mean? From spirit to prophets mm -hmm. to son of man mm -hmm. to apostles Amen. and to church. To church. Yes. Hand it down. That's right. Tell the word of God said the former treaties have I made with Theophilus. Of all that, of Jesus, all that began. Jesus began both to do and to teach until the day in which he was taken up. After that. He gave the commandments to the apostles. After that, he through the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. He gave the commandments to his apostles whom he hath chose. That's right. Now, I want you to get this, especially you so-called Jesus-only devils. Mm. You so-called Jesus-only churchgoers always shouting and shaking and eyes rolling back all in your head like you got convulsions. <laughs> That's right. You have got far away mm -hmm. from that old standard of holiness. Oh, yeah. Amen. Everything now has came in what is called church and still trying to make the people believe 
You're going to heaven. No, you're not. No, no. Nobody's going to make the first resurrection without terms attached to terms. it. Terms. That's right. There's terms. That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There's divine stipulation. Oh, yeah. You bishops, you bishops, you preachers, you preachers. Yeah. Thank God. God has sent this message to you as a warning. That's right. To tell you how you got off track. Amen. It's a warning. Oh, yeah. You got off track. You deviated. deviated. You're more loyal to some organization and you turn your back on God. That's right. Come on back to God. That's right. Come back. Amen. And Hallelujah. Now, Glory to God. This is a warning. And now, oh ye priests. Do you better get this? Do you, this is a message. Do you hear? Do you hear? In Malachi chapter 2, we're at verse 1. Right direct to the preacher. And now, O ye priests. O ye preachers, you call yourself apostles and bishops and prophets and elders, yeah. evangelists, dioceses, bishops, do junior elders. I don't care what you call yourself, fella. Fella. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the word of God say, now. O ye priests. You preachers. This commandment. This message. Is for you. <laughs> Amen. Eh? Amen. It's for you now. That's right. What is the message? If he will not hear. Be hard here, Apostle. If he will not hear. Go ahead, Apostle. Go ahead, Elder. Be Bishop. Be hard here. If you keep on marrying that couple that already got a living husband yeah. and a living wife. Go ahead. That's right. Go ahead and keep baptizing in Jesus' name. That's right. And not in the name of Jesus Christ or Lord Jesus. Amen. You go ahead. Amen. Go ahead and keep ignoring the Bible and go on and allow homosexuals to have marriages in your church. Keep setting the rainbow flag on the outside of your church. Go ahead, hypocrite. That's right. You go ahead. Keep it up. Now, O ye priests. But the word of God is talking here. And now, O ye priests. Now, preacher. This commandment. Mr. Mr. Reverend. That's right. You preachers that think you're God. That's right. You preachers that think you're the son of man. Amen. You preachers that think you're the Messiah. Amen. You big time wealthy bourgeoisie preachers. Go, go ahead. I don't care what you call yourself. Go ahead. When I look at the rich man and look at a grasshopper, yeah. you're the same. That's right. Moving from one place to the other. That's right. Huh? That's right. What did he say? And now, O ye preachers. Now, O ye preachers. This commandment is for you. This commandment is for you. If you will not hear. You won't listen. And if you will not lay it to heart. You won't even lay to heart what you're told. To give glory unto my name, saith the Lord of hosts. Saith Geno Jennings. Saith the Lord of hosts. Get mad at me much as you want. That's right. I'm sent to call your attention to what the Lord of hosts, meaning the Lord of all said. That's right. What is it? I will even send a curse upon you. I will send a curse. I'm determined, determined. To stick to what the word says. That's right. I don't want no cuss from God on me. No way. Oh, no. Cuss and me don't mix. Amen. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Amen. No, no, no. Amen. I, I don't need no encouragement from people to preach the gospel. No. Uh, that's just something God put in me. That's right. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm determined to preach the gospel and stand on that gospel. That's it. We're not going to oh, deviate. God. We're not going to deviate the size of a gnat's eyelash Amen. in his left eye. That's right. To get a member, mm -hmm. to keep a member. Amen. Huh? Amen. Never. Never. Why, do you hear what the word of God said? I will send a curse upon you. Anybody here want to be cursed by God? No. Lord. Do anybody want to be cursed by God? No. Many of you preachers have turned your back on God. So you can get a larger following. That's right. That's right. So deliberately have stopped preaching sound doctrine. Yeah. Deliberately. 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 Look at the amount of organizations, so-called Jesus only, that's done fail. My Lord, my Bible Lord. way. Mm -hmm. Amen. Bible way used to be against women preachers. Mm -hmm. Now they done ordained so many of them I can't count them. My Lord. Divorce crept in there. Yeah. The scrapping refuge. Yeah. God is not their refuge now. No. Mm -hmm. So-called churches of the Lord Jesus Christ. Many of them divorced. divorced. Many of them three gods. 
Many of them fight speaking in tongue now. Yeah. Many of them denounce the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Some of them even denounce the existence of God. My Lord. My Lord. You preachers. Oh, ye priests. People, you viewers, I want you to listen to me now. Your pastor mm -hmm. is keeping you from entering into the kingdom of God. That's right. That's right. Am I right, I said? Woe be unto your the preachers in your way. In the way. Get him out of your way. That's right. He's your problem. Yes. That's right. Thank God and your love for him Amen. is making you more loyal to him. Then you are to God. That's right. Huh? That's right. Now, O ye priests, this commandment, this message, is for is you. Is for you. If you will not hear. If you won't hear. And if you will not lay it to heart. You listen. Not only do you got to hear it, you got to take to heart what I'm telling you. That's right. Huh? That's right. What did he say? And if you will not and lay it to heart. If you will not lay it to heart. To give glory unto to my give name. Glory unto God's name. Saith the Lord saith of hosts. The Lord of hosts. I will even send a curse upon you. What else will he do? And I will curse your blessings. Amen. You got a big church now? Yeah. I will God curse. bless Nebuchadnezzar, did he not? That's right. Then he do it. God Almighty blessed Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah. But then Nebuchadnezzar start bragging, mm -hmm. taking credit right. for what God done. That's right. Is this not great Babylon mm -hmm. that I, I, I have built? That's right. And that's what I see going on in the churches. Yes. Yeah. The preachers are saying the same thing. Same thing. You got the all churches are wrong, but my church. Yeah. All churches are wrong, but my organization. Yeah. Amen. I got a letter from the Holy Temple, Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. headquarters Bronx, New York. Mm -hmm. Some young minister wrote me insult my intelligence. Mm -hmm. He said, "Yes, we we listen to you. We know you got the truth, but you got to come in the Holy Temple to be right." My Lord. Well, I tell you what, why don't you tell your bishops to tell me that? <laughs> Amen. I take the word of God and blast you so far into hell, you <laughs> will have to try to crawl your way out. That's right. You don't have to be in the holy temple. No. You have to be in God. That's it. That's right. Ah! That's right. Mm, you know, no, you folks are hiding on the organization. You're too into organization, yeah. and that's what's driving you far from God. Amen. Amen. Organization full of error, yeah. flaws, flaws, lies. Mm -hmm. In God, God straighten out lies. That's right. You see, when you go by organization, you do things wrong. Yeah. And you do things out of ritual. That's right. But when you go by God, you stop ritual. That's right. And do it according to the order of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. If your organization got anything that contradict the word of God, yeah. blessed be the name of God. Yeah. When the Lord our God talk, mm -hmm. you're going to bring what you're doing to an end. That's right. And now, O oh ye priests, you preachers, this commandment is for you. You preachers that's getting up telling the people, uh, anybody want to be fellowshipped into the church? Yeah. And then men and women coming up and say, I want the right hands of fellowship, and you shaking people's hands, yeah. saying that's what it takes to shake you in the church. Shake you in. You can't be shaked in here. <laughs> oh, no. And man, you know, sometime when my wife may cook, uh, some fish, she'll take the fish and put it in the bag that got the bread crumbs in it or the meal and she's shaking it. Shaking it. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. And then shake it. Right. But when she shake it, after that, it goes in the fire. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. And man, you, you folk walking around in these so called apostolic churches yeah. and preachers shaking your hand and My telling Lord. you, You've been fellowshipped into the church. Listen to the truth of God now. Mm -hmm. All preachers that told you, mm -hmm. you are fellowshipped into the church. Amen. All of them are liars. That's right. I didn't say some of them. All, all of them are liars. That's the right. Pastor Paul say you're baptized into one by spirit. one spirit into, one, into body. one body. That's right. Huh? Holy Ghost put you in here. By one spirit. Hallelujah to God. It's the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Oh, it be to God to put you in the body. That's right. You can get your hands shaking till you die. That's right. You don't speak in tongues. My Lord. Like they did on the day of Pentecost. Amen. You're not in the church. Amen. 
Are you listening to what I'm talking? And now, oh ye priests. All right, preachers, 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 preachers. Priests. Preachers, you're the problem. That's right. Hey, man, I got a call from another part of New York. Mm -hmm. Ask me about the bishop. Do I believe he's an apostle? They wrote, they contact me and questioned me about a bishop named Belton Green. I never met him. Mm. Supposed to be an apostle. Mm. And one of the mothers asked me, how was an apostle made? Mm. <laughs> Hallelujah <laughs> to God. Hallelujah. Give me Luke. Mm -hmm. Amen. 1149. 1149. I don't think it's on working on this, but O oh, ye priests, this commandment, this is, for commandment is for you. Luke 11 and verse 49. Listen at this. Therefore also said the wisdom of God. Therefore. Mm -hmm. All right, dear God, I want to make it loud and strong. Wow. That's right. I fill it down in me too, brother. Hallelujah. Therefore. Also said the also wisdom of God. Also saith the excellence of God. I will send them. I will send them. Prophets. Right then they let you know who's responsible for I their coming. That's right. Right then they let you know who's responsible for the arrival of the officers that he's about to read here. I will send them. God talking. I will send them. God say, I will send them. Prophets. Prophets. And apostles. And apostles. And some of them. Some of them. They shall slay in person. Now an apostle is God called. God sent. God taught. God made. Right. God appointed. That's right. God authorized. God Almighty appeared unto him. That's right. God Almighty is his teacher. That's God right. Almighty is his instructor. Amen. Now. Let me give you some knowledge. Amen. None of the twelve sit under each other. No, no. No. <laughs> No, no. Hey! Amen. Hallelujah to God. No, it huh? no. None of the apostles no. sat under each other. Amen. Someone say you're wrong there. They sat under Jesus. Mm -hmm. Well, when you sat under Jesus, you sat under God. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. That's why he sent them out. Mm -hmm. Then you know only the apostles can be sent out by God. That's right. But Paul didn't sit under Peter. No. And Peter didn't sit under John. No, no, and no. John didn't sit under James. Amen. And James did not sit under Bartholomew. That's right. I'm saying that to tell you this. Amen. No man that sat under Amen. another apostle can come out and declare himself to be one. That's right. Yeah. That's right. No man. No. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Therefore also said the wisdom of now God. Now I say you're wrong there. Give me the first chapter mm -hmm. of the book of Acts of the Apostles. Of the Apostles. Let me show you some brothers who were not apostles. Mm -hmm. When the twelve was uh, apostles, mm -hmm. they were not apostles, mm -hmm. but they were at it. That's right. And yet they didn't sit under the twelve to be at it. That's right. That's right. Huh? Amen. Hallelujah. Acts chapter I, 1. Uh, glory to God. I have to dissect this with Bible here Amen. because it's a good question. Mm -hmm. Now you men that say you are apostles and you claim that your bishop was an apostle. You can't sit under apostle and then you later on say no. you were an apostle no, no. because who taught you? Who taught you? You got your knowledge from your bishop. That's right. When you get your knowledge from your bishop, you can't say like Paul. No, no. The apostle Paul said, I didn't receive it of man. Oh, man. You can't say that. Right. Paul said, neither was, was I, I taught it. it. You <laughs> can't say that. That's but right. Paul declared, I got it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah to God. Revelation. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And the way Paul got his mm -hmm. is the way I got mine. That's right. Oh. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Yeah. By revelation. By revelation. That's the way you got to get it now. That's right. Every man that declared himself to be an apostle, Amen. you got to get it by revelation. That's right. When you got it by revelation, mm. you got what they have. That's right. You'll preach what they preach. Amen. And you'll stand for what they stand for. Amen. Did you hear this? Acts chapter 1, we're at verse 20. Listen at this. For it is written in the book of I want of this to be good for all of you so-called apostolic apostles and Pentecostal apostles and non-denominational apostles mm. and Catholic apostles. Yeah. And Muslims apostles. That's right. Someone say, what? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, in the nation of Islam, they call their leader apostle. My Lord. Mm -hmm. My Lord. Come on, son. Acts 1 and verse 20. Follow me. What is written in the book of Psalms. Hallelujah to God. It is written. 
in the book of the prophet. Let his habitation be desolate. Let his habitation be desolate. And let no man dwell there. Don't let no man dwell and there. And his bishopric. And his bishopric. Let another take. Let another take. Wherefore of these men which have accompanied with us. Of these men that was accompanied with us. Of these men mm. that sat under us. Which accompanied with us. No, they sat under us. Accompanied with us. I Company. take the word of God by God's permission and split you to pieces. That's right. Huh? That's right. Anytime a man says he's an apostle, he can't even explain the scriptures. An apostle is a builder. That's right. Hmm? That's right. He's a builder. Oh, yeah. Don't you know if a man of God die and God raise up another one, then that other one must be able to maintain the work that the other one done before him That's and right. must be able to build and add to what's there. That's right. If you can't add to what's there and can't even maintain what's there, no. No. Takes God to make a leader. Amen. Takes God to make you. Oh yeah. Are you listening to what I'm talking? Wherefore of these men? Wherefore of these? With, of these? Of these men? Of these men? Which have accompanied with us? That let you know there was no women accompany the apostles or Jesus that was made apostles. That's right. Huh? Of these that men. That scripture alone rip out women preachers. That's right. That's right. You see, you didn't see that, but thank God I'm going to show it to you anyway. Wherefore of these men. These men. Which have company There was no us. women in the company. No, no. That was made apostles. That's right. Huh? Wherefore of these Wherefore? men. Wherefore. Of these men. Glory to God of these men. Hallelujah. Which have company with which us. Which company with us. All the time. How often? All the time. All the time. That the Lord Jesus went in and out among us. That let you know these men. Mm -hmm. That was in the company of the apostles. Mm -hmm. We're not under the apostles, no. but they was in the presence of the apostles while the teacher mm -hmm. was in and out among them, mm -hmm. teaching them. Begin. In other words, he was teaching apostles mm -hmm. and them that were to be. That's right. That's right. What was Jesus doing? Teaching the present teaching. and teaching the future. Amen. Huh? Amen. He was teaching the present yeah. and teaching the future. That's right. Huh? Why? He's able to see all things. Jesus of Nazareth knew all, all things. things. So he taught the present mm -hmm. and he was teaching the future. That's right. Come on, son. Wherefore of these men which now, have I want you to get us. this. All oh, you men out here claim you're an apostle. How can you all be apostles and all have something different? Mm -hmm. Some believe in divorce. Mm -hmm. Some believe in women preachers. Amen. Some believe in first lady in the church. Yeah. Some don't believe in speaking in tongues. Yeah. Some, believe, some don't believe in the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Some believe that you got to be fellowshiped into the church. Amen. Some don't even know what is the church. My Lord, my Lord. Some, they, 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 I get letters from Africa, so many that I can't count. Mm -hmm. From men, they claim they are apostles and their wives are the assistant apostles. My Lord, my Lord. God, I got to take the word of God and crush it into hell. That's right. And I want to crush it right over into a new year. That's that right. way 25, 2015 go out with the crushing <laughs> and 2016 come in with the smashing. That's right. Huh? Come on, son. Wherefore of these men which have accompanied with these us. These men who has company with us. All the time. How often? All the time. All the time. All the time. You're supposed to be under the teaching of Jesus all the time. All the time. The apostle must stand in God's council. How often? All the time. That's it. How often must the apostle be in God's counsel? All the time. All the time. If they have stood in my counsel. At my counsel. If. How often must an apostle be in God's counsel? All the time. That's wonderful. There is no elders. That's wonderful. In the church mm -hmm. should have to correct the teachings no. of an apostle. No way. No way. No way. Oh, no. There is no elders no, no. in the church mm -hmm. that's supposed to be examining mm -hmm. the gospel of an apostle. No way. You folks think church is a game? Amen. These men get under some little influence and then start studying a bunch of books and think a bunch of books will help them to understand the Bible. Right. Right. The Bible is a divinely inspired thing. That's, right. That's why the Bible said no man can say Jesus Christ is Lord except by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. It takes the Holy Ghost to understand the things of God. That's, right. That's why the Lord said the things of God no man knows no man know. but the Spirit of God. That's right. and if the Spirit is not in man, he's going to struggle comprehending the things of God. Yes, he will. 
Johnson. Come on, son. Wherefore of these men which have accompanied with I us. I don't care how much education you got, how what college you come from, you can be born on top of the steeple of the college. <laughs> I take the word of God and give you a shakedown, God knows. That's right. Come on, son. Wherefore of these men which have accompanied Wherefore with us. Wherefore of these men to who accompany with us. All the time. How often? All the time. All the time. That the Lord Jesus went in and out that among us. That the Lord us, Jesus was in and out among us. Beginning from the baptism of John. What happened? Unto that same day that he was taken up from us. What? Must one be ordained to be a witness with us. We have to get one to be ordained to be a witness. With us. With us. Of his resurrection. Of his resurrection. And they appointed too. Now the apostles appointed too. They didn't appoint two apostles. No. They no, appointed no, no, two. No, no. In fact, the apostles didn't even appoint one apostle. No, they didn't. They just appoint two men. Two, that's right. And these two men was in and out of the company of the apostles when Amen. Jesus was living. That's right. Amen. I want to dissect it. Amen. Uh -huh. And they appointed two. These so-called apostles. Now you can see these fellows on the internet claim they are apostles, Amen. look like Catholic bishops. My Lord. What is happening to these so-called apostolic churches? Amen. Your preachers look like archdiocese bishops. My Lord, blood my Lord. red robes and little bean hats. Amen. For what? Which love to go in long clothing. Do you hear that? In the book of St. Mark chapter 12 and verse 38. Jesus said it. And he said unto them in his doctrine. In his doctrine. Don't blame Pastor Jennings for it. That's right. I have to bring you the doctrine of Jesus. That's right. He said unto them in his doctrine, Beware of the scribes. Look out! Hallelujah to God. Amen. Look out. You that are watching, you that are listening. Beware. God says, look out. Beware of the scribes. Of your scribes. Which love to go. They love to go. In long clothing. That's why you folk love to see your preacher. He coming with these old long baggy robes and <laughs> right. a bunch of arm, bunch of bars on his arm. And you call him doctor. doctor. Uh -huh. And yet he can't perform surgery in scripture. Amen. Huh? Amen. Huh? And beware. you know I'm telling you. That's God right. say, beware of Be you. Beware of the scribes. Beware of the scribes. Which love to go in long clothing. Hey, that's what these so-called apostolic faith preachers you should see them. Mm -hmm. Big old robes like uh. construction trash bags. <laughs> Amen. Robes and superhero capes. <laughs> My Lord, help the people. Big bars on and bean hats. Amen. Love to go. They'll wear the same color robe that the choir wear. Mm -hmm. Church have become show business. That's right. And you're supposed to be about God business. That's right. If they don't want God business, close the doors of the church. Amen. And just go to hell from home. Amen. When you come to church, it's supposed to be about God's business. That's it. Nothing else. That's right. That's right. Do you know that's what church is for? That's right. God's business. God's business. Mm -hmm. Come on, son. And he said unto them in his doctrine. He said to them and his teaching. Beware of the scribes. Beware. Glory to God of the scribes. Which love to go in long clothes. Love to go in long clothes. And love salutations love in the salutations. marketplace. You know, when you see these false prophets and you greet them in the street, mm -hmm. their voice change. That's right. Huh? That's right. Where, where did he be at? In the marketplace. You see him all out in the marketplace, somewhere <laughs> out shopping and somewhere walking the street. Uh, 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 Bishop Williams. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, God bless you. Yeah, that's uh, right. God bless you. Uh, yes, I, I, I'm Bishop Williams. God, God bless. What's the matter with you? Amen. Stop talking like a fool. Amen. Love salutations. Talk with the voice that God gave you. That's right. That's right. They love salutation. They love to hear their name advertised. Love they love praise. That's right. They love limelight. That's right. They love spotlight. Amen. The only spotlight should be on God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you listening to what I'm talking? And love salutations in the marketplace. They love to be called bishop. Amen. Some of these men that claim they are bishops or apostles, you can't call them brother. No. They take it as an insult. That's right. That's right. You men that claim you're preachers, you should be able to be called brother. Brother. 
Paul was called brother. Brother, brother Paul. Huh? That's right. Brother Paul. Brother Paul. Well, these men got these offices so high, uh, they too high to be called brother. Mm -hmm. But one thing about hell, it'll bring you down. Yes, it will. It'll bring you down to the lowest degree. And love salutations in they the marketplace. Love marketplaces. salutations in the marketplace. And the chief seats. And the chief seats. In the synagogues. Oh, yes. Amen. Some of these preachers like they got a customized throne. That's true. Some of them even got a footrest in the chair. That's right. Customized throne with That's the right. footrest and everybody come up. I, I, somebody showed me a YouTube clipping. Mm -hmm. I don't know who the false prophets were. I couldn't make their face out. <laughs> but the people in this church threw money all on the floor in the front of the chair. My Lord, my Lord. And several false prophets came to the front of the church and started jumping and supposed to be what they call shouting mm. in the piles of money. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. All in the money just jumping and shouting, Amen. running through it. Mm. And these blind fools call it anointing. Anointing. Human family, mm -hmm. you're playing church. That's right. Playing. Church. Let's teach you the purpose of it. That's right. The church represent Noah's ark. Mm -hmm. Noah represent Jesus. That's right. Noah was charged to build a ark. Jesus said upon this rock, I'll build my church. Right. Only one builder. Right. So God didn't charge a variety of men in Noah's day to build the ark. No, no. He gave it to one. one man. And for anybody to be saved mm -hmm. or delivered from the flood, mm -hmm. it not matter how rich you were, it didn't matter how you were shaped, how you was built, how much money you had, right. how much land, how much cattle, the size house you built, if you wanted to escape the flood, you had not only to hear Noah, you had to believe what Noah was preaching, and you had to come in the ark, even if you didn't like the ark. That's right. That's right. If you didn't like the message that Noah preached, mm -hmm. there was no other ark to go to. No, no. The Lord said unto Noah, Who talked to Noah? The Lord said unto Noah, The Lord said to Noah, Come thou. You come on. And all thy house. You come on. That's right. Everybody, everybody to escape the flood mm -hmm. had to hear Noah. Amen. Respect Noah. Yeah. And believe the message of Noah. That's right. Men, I didn't understand what God told them to do. Mm -hmm. come but thou. for you to escape that flood, come thou. You better come on. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. No matter how strange the message sounds, mm -hmm. you better come on. That, that's right. Come thou. Hmm? Come thou. Doesn't matter how much your clothes cost. Amen. Hey Amen. I'm pretty sure they have fancy clothes. Somebody mm -hmm. wore some fancy that apparel means. when Noah was here. That's right. But that fancy apparel went down with the one that wore it. That's right. Amen. That's right. They made mockery of the prophet. Mm -hmm. But notice how he wasn't distracted. Amen. He kept building. Kept building. Hmm? That's right. They made mockery of Jesus. Mm -hmm. But he still said, upon this rock. That's right. What you going to do, Jesus? I'm going to keep building. Keep building. That's right. So Jesus kept building. Mm -hmm. And the church is still being built. Amen. Don't believe the message. God bless your hypocriting heart forever. Mm -hmm. Make mockery of it. Fight it. Reject it. Feel as though you're too cute to obey it. Feel as though you got too much education. Think you're too important. Yeah. Think you're too prominent. Mm -hmm. But you bear in mind. You bear in mind. You bear in mind. That's right. Do you know what the darkness of your mother's belly represent? My Lord. Do you know what the darkness of your mother's belly Represent. Mm. Do you know what God says? Mm. The first 
shall be last. Lord. You start out first. Right. I want to take you in some deep water here. Mm. The first shall be last. Where did you start out first? In darkness. That's right. And that darkness was called hell. Because hell was called a belly. My Lord, my Lord. And eternal hell is called her. Her. Hell hath enlarged herself. Her, her, herself. Her, 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 herself. Herself. A pregnant woman represents life in hell. That's right. Hallelujah to God. Therefore, listen at this. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, oh, and verse 14. Oh, and be hard-headed and be stubborn, but you're going to come back. Yes, you will. The last, mm, shall the be, first, shall be last. Shall be last. Huh? That's right. Listen. Therefore, get this now. Isaiah 5 and verse 14. What did it say? Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself. Her. Her. When a woman is pregnant, mm. her hell get enlarged. Lord, Lord, thank God. Go ahead. Her. Go ahead. Mm. Mm. That's why it's called her. Herself. It's a place. It, it's a body. That's the right. earth is a body. That's and right. earth is called mother. Mother. That's right. That's right. The earth is called mother. That's right. And God going to open the womb of the mother. Mm. Go ahead, brother. Huh? Go ahead. And the womb of the mother is called out of darkness. That's right. And just like the body of the woman Amen. has life and you're in darkness mm -hmm. for a period of time mm -hmm. and while you're in that woman, yeah. fire is in there. Go ahead, man. Let's read this. Go ahead, go ahead. Fire is in there fire. and water. That's right. Why? It takes fire and woman, fire and water to make clay. Are you listening to me? You see, God is a potter. That's right. And they take fire and water. That's right. To make clay. Second Esther chapter eight. I want to show you this in the Bible. Second Esther chapter eight. We'll start at verse seven. Real quick. For thou art alone, and we all are workmanship of thine hands. We are the workmanship of God's hand. Like as thou hast said. Like as God said. For when the body is fashioned now in the mother's womb. Do you hear this? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so good. For when the body, when is, the fashioned body now, is fashioned now in the mother's womb, in the mother's womb, and thou givest it members, and you give it members, thy creature is preserved. The creature is preserved in fire. Go ahead. Hallelujah to God. Amen. You thought I didn't know what I was talking, did you? <laughs> Go ahead, man. Why are you in the womb? Where are you? Thy creature is preserved in fire. When you are in eternal hell, you will be preserved in fire, in fire. and you will never burn up. That's right. That's why the Bible says, where the worm dieth not. Right. When you in the womb or the body of your mother, fire preserves you. Our creature is but preserved. this fire don't burn you up in the womb. That's right. That's right. You are preserved in that. Preserved in fire, fire. and darkness. That's right. But this fire in the womb of the woman is by time. It's by time. That's right. Not eternal. Right. While you in your mother's womb, let me throw this at you, listeners and viewers. Let me toss this at you. Mm -hmm. In the womb of your mother, you're in there forever. That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. I want to say what? Oh, yes. Go ahead, brother. You're in there forever. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, I'm not in there forever. Forever is eternal. It is not. No. Forever is not eternal. No. Forever is an indefinite period of time in which a thing will be done. Right. And once that thing is done, that forever is done. Mm -hmm. In hell, you will be there forever and ever and, and ever, ever and ever. That's eternal. That's right. When there's more than one forever connected to a forever, that's eternal. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. I was in my mother's womb forever. Mm -hmm. And then when nine months was nine over, months. my forever expired. That's it. Glory to God. That's right. Come on, son. Thy creature is preserved in fire. Thy creature is preserved in fire. And water. And water. And nine months. 
Do with thy workmanship endure thy creatures. You see, we're nothing but clay. That's and if it. you look at clay, it takes water that constantly put on the clay while the creator of the clay is fashioning it, is farming it, and then fire is used. Once he get the shape that he want, he put it in fire, and then fire hardens it Hardy. to establish its shape. That's right. That the thing which is fashioned. That the thing which is made. By be, may be nourished for a time. For what? For a time. That's forever. That's forever. <laughs> For a time. That's it. That's now, right. you come out of darkness. That's right. Into light of the world. That's right. But yet you're still in darkness. That's right. Because you're ignorant of the will of God and the purpose of God. Mm -hmm. Now, the purpose of the gospel of light mm -hmm. is to keep you out of eternal darkness. That's right. Eternal darkness. That's right. Eternal darkness, mm -hmm. which is eternal hell. Hell. Mm -hmm. hell. Mm -hmm. You know, believe it or not, do you know there's some so called apostolic faith churches now are preaching? There's no hell. My Lord. This is how bad things have gotten, mm -hmm. and this is how far back it has gotten. Mm -hmm. They're preaching it ain't no hell. No hell, my Lord. And these men that are preaching it say they are apostles. My Lord. All right, let's go back to Acts and finish up the apostleship because mm -hmm. I'm not done with that. With that. Mm -hmm. I'm not done with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to complete the job. Back in Acts chapter 1 and at verse 22. And he's having a man say he's an apostle and he can't build on what is there right. and add to what's there. No, 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 no. That's and don't have apostle. no revelation. That's right. No, not able to dissect the Bible. That's right. When I talk to an apostle and ask him, what does it mean? The Lord said unto my Lord, sit down on my right hand until I make thy end of thy footstool. Mm -hmm. He ain't got no minutes responding to me and saying, it means what it say. I don't want that. No, no. <laughs> no. I don't want that. No, no. Uh -uh. Oh, no. When I talk to the apostle and ask him what does it mean that when uh, the prophet Habakkuk mm. or Habakkuk, Habakkuk saw the Lord mm. and saw horns it's coming out of, out of his hand and arrows from his mouth. From his mouth. What does it mean? Mm. His teeth is white like milk. Like milk. What does it mean? Right. He walked among the cursuits of heaven. That's right. What does it mean right. that darkness and light is equal to him? That's right. What does it mean that his face is shine as the sun shine in her strength? That's right. That's right. What does it mean Don't from me. everlasting to everlasting? Everlast. Lord God. Amen. Go ahead, man. If God is the almighty, mm -hmm. What does it mean he saw another mighty angel? That's right. That's How right. many mighty divine ones is it? Is it? Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Isaiah said, on us, mm -hmm. child is born. He's born. Son is given. Mm -hmm. Come and shall be upon his shoulder. Mm -hmm. And his name shall be called wonderful counselor, the mighty God. Mighty God. Yeah. John said, I saw another, another, another. mighty angel. That's when right. he said, I saw another mighty angel, that lets me know it's more than one mighty angel. Amen. Another mighty angel. How many divine ones? It's called mighty. mighty. That's right. That's right. It is given unto you to know the mystery. It is. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Wonderful. Eh? It is given unto you. Now I said there's only one mighty God. That's true, but that wasn't my question. I said how many mighty divine ones how is How many? It? That's right. Different questions. Different questions. And I saw another mighty angel. Do you hear? In Revelation chapter 10 and verse 1. And you better tell me that was God. No. Because if he said, if you said that was God, mm -hmm. that would contradict it. Because it says what word there? Another. <laughs> Amen. There's only one God. That's right. Huh? That's right. And it's not another. Not another. Good, good Hallelujah to God. Go ahead, go ahead. And, and I saw another. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I saw another. Another mighty another angel. Another mighty angel. Come down from heaven. Come down from heaven. Clothed with a cloud. He clothed with a cloud. And a rainbow was upon his head. That was not God. That's right. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, no, no. That was not God. No. A rainbow was about his head. Mm -hmm. And his face was as it were the sun. And his feet is pillars of fire. How I said only God looked like that. No, only God don't look like no. that. A mighty angel looked like An that. Another mighty angel. It was another mighty angel. That's right. And then it gives the description of the mighty angel. Glow which lets you know there's other mighty angels that look the same way. That's right. Wonderful man. Wonderful. You can be a mighty angel. Mm -hmm. 
but you can't be an almighty angel. Almighty, that's it. When you say almighty, that's God. That's God. Huh? That's right. That means there's nothing mightier than him. That's right. Why? He's almighty. Mm. Nobody might equal his. No. Nobody might is better than his. That's right. Nobody might is even similar to his <laughs> until he said, who will you liken me unto? Me unto. Who is my equal? Mm. Say it's God. Say it the Holy One. The Holy One. The Holy One. That's right. I saw another mighty angel. You fellas out there say you were an apostle before mm. me? Why, well, you should be coming here so you and I can talk. That's right. Should be. You should be examining what I have. Should be. <laughs> That's right. That's what you're supposed to be doing. That's right. Huh? That's right. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Amen. You're an apostle? Hmm. Amen. The Bible said, if they that believe was what? We're together. Was what? Together. Was what? Together. All the apostles were together. That's right. Now let's go back to the first chapter of the book of Acts, and I want to dissect the apostleship. Back in Acts 1 and at verse 21. Listen. Wherefore of these men which have accompanied with us. These men that have accompanied with us. All the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us. What? Beginning from the baptism of John unto that same day that he was taken up from us. Now. I had someone write me and said, how can you be an apostle when all the apostles wit witnessed the resurrection of Jesus? That's not the truth. That's not the truth. When Jesus rose, where was Paul? That's right. Paul didn't witness it. Paul, no. Paul wasn't around there. He wasn't around. Not at all. That's right. Thank God, but Paul come along later. Last and when he did come along, the term was used what? Last of all. Now, somebody wrote me just recently, and I, I don't have the letter tonight, he said Paul was the last apostle because it is written he's the least I'm of all. The least he's the least of the apostles. Of the apostles. And there's another scripture where he talk about he's the least mm -hmm. of all saints. All I want to get both mm -hmm. the least of all saints. Now you really think that Paul was the last apostle to walk earth? Are you that foolish? Mm. Are you that deceived by your father, the devil? Mm. Paul was not the last apostle that walked earth. No. No more than he was the last saint that walked earth. In Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 8. First, let's read Corinthians. First. Mm -hmm. Then we'll read Ephesians. Amen. I want to chop it as I go. First in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and at verse 9. All right. For I am the least of the apostles. I'm what? I am the least of the apostles. Why? That am not meet to be called an apostle. Now, this is what he meant. Mm -hmm. When he said, I'm the least of the yes. apostles. Mm -hmm. He was talking about, he was looking at himself. That's right. And comparing himself to the others. Because I persecuted. And he felt as though he was unworthy to be an apostle yeah. because of his reputation of the past. That's yeah. right. That's right. He had a past reputation. That's right. Going into houses of men and women, mm -hmm. hurling men and women. Yeah. Causing them to blaspheme. Yeah. But he said, I obtained mercy. That's right. Saw the light from heaven, hallelujah, mm. above the brightness of the sun. Knocked them down to the earth. That's right. Said, Saul, Saul, yeah. why persecutors down me? Who art thou, Lord? I'm Jesus. Jesus. That's right. Hold that and persecute. It's hard. They kick against the prick, go down to the street that is called straight. Yeah. I got a man down there. Mm -hmm. He'll tell you what thou oughtest to do. Right. Paul went down there. He come Ananias. The Bible didn't say he was a bishop. No. The Bible didn't say he was an elder. No, no. The Bible didn't say he was an apostle. No. Well, Pastor Jennings, Paul was made an apostle, and an apostle was sent to Ananias. That's a lie. That's a lie. Paul was not made an apostle then. No. He was called, oh. but he wasn't sent. That's right. Can you prove it, Pastor Jennings? Yes. God ain't never sent a man. Without the baptism Go ahead. and without the Holy Ghost. That's right. He just called them called on it. the road to Damascus. That's it. Just called them. That's it. So, so. I appeared unto thee for this purpose. To make thee. To make you. To make thee a minister. My purpose of appearing to you is to make you. That's it. But before you are made. I got to open your eyes. Open your, that's right. Well, he was made right there. That's a lie because he was blind. That's right. God don't have a blind apostle. No, no. <laughs> huh? He was blind. That's right. Or it take God, God appeared unto him appeared. to make him. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's why those that was around him, hey amen, they heard a voice. A voice. Mm -hmm. They didn't see no man. See no man. But when he brought his testimony to King Agrippa, mm -hmm. he said, they that was with me heard the voice. Heard the voice. 
The other scripture said, they that were with me didn't hear the heard voice. Not the voice. But then when he brought it to the testimony to the king, they that was with me heard it. They heard it. Apostle, do you know what that means? <laughs> do you know what that means, Apostle? What does that mean? Right, let's read both. Both. I want to teach these apostles out here that are imposters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When he was on the road to Damascus, right. light shined from heaven. Acts chapter 9 and at verse 6. Then he brought his testimony. Those that was with me. And the men which journeyed with him. Give chapter and verse. Acts chapter 9 and at verse 7. Says what? And the men which journeyed the with men. him. That journeyed with me. Stood speechless. They stood speechless. Hearing a voice. They heard the voice. But seeing no man. They didn't see no man. That's right. Now, after he's made, he brought his testimony to King Agrippa. Mm -hmm. And you will read it, the colonel of mine, and say, oh, that's contradiction. Before then, he said, though that was with me, they heard the voice. But they didn't see no man. But then when he went to King Agrippa, he brought a testimony and said the men that was with me heard the voice. Heard the voice. Heard it. Acts chapter 22 and at verse 9. Says what? And they that were with me. They that were with saw me. Saw indeed the light. Saw indeed the light. And were afraid. And were afraid. But they heard not the voice All right. of him. In the 22nd chapter, they said they didn't hear the voice of him. That spake to me. But in the ninth chapter, what did he say? Uh, and, and the men which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice. But seeing no man. And the 22nd chapter, what it said? They heard the voice. And the 9th chapter, what it said? They heard not the voice. Apostle, mm -hmm. what is it? What is it? Which, right? Which one is right? That's right. Which one is right, Apostle? And the men which journeyed with him stood speechless. They stood speechless. Hearing a voice. Heard the voice. But seeing no man. But now, after he's made an apostle, what happened? But they heard not the voice. Of him that spake to me. Which is it, Apostle? Which is it? You that claim you're so God sent, God anointed. Which is See what the anointing gets you out of this. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Is this a mistake? <laughs> Amen. Go ahead, man. Is this a mistake? Hearing a voice. Is it contradiction? No. Come on, Apostle. Amen. Give chapter and verse for both. Acts chapter 9 and at verse 7. Says what? And the men which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. Right there, they heard a voice and did not see nobody, but they heard, heard. Hallelujah to God. That's right. And, That's right. Amen. After, after the hearing was over and he was made an apostle of the truth, Amen. stepped on down and brought the testimony to King Agrippa. That's and right. what did he say? But they heard. Give chapter and verse. Acts chapter 22 and verse 9. Says what? But they heard not the voice. They of, heard not the voice. Of him that spake to me. Which is it, apostle? Which is it? Which one is it? Hearing a voice but seeing no man. Is it hearing a voice? Did they hear the voice? Mm -hmm. Or? But they heard not the voice of him that spake to me. Or they didn't hear it. That's it. I want you to email me. Email. I want you to call me. That's right. All of you fellas that claim that you're God sent, I want you to email me and answer both scriptures. That's it. That's it. This is your homework. It's your homework. Hearing a voice. Hear a voice. But seeing no man. They didn't see nobody. But they heard not the voice. But yet they heard not the voice. Of him that spake to me. Send in your answer. Send in your answer. <laughs> Amen. All you apostles. All the apostles. This is Sunday school for you. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Now, before you write me, let me help you in advance. Help you. Amen. To better understand this. Mm -hmm. Jesus, in one place, was praying. Blessed be God. Mm -hmm. And while that body of flesh and blood, which is the mediator, was the mediator between God and man, the human and the divine, he was praying, the outer man was praying to what was in it, spirit. While he was praying, the spirit of the living God talked to that body. In St. John chapter 12, and we'll start at verse 27. But when the spirit talked to the body, it was very specific in what it said. That's right. But those that was around did not hear <laughs> the details That's it. of the language right. 
They just heard the noise of God. That's right. Hallelujah to God. That's right. Come on, son. St. John chapter 12 and at verse 27. Thank God, I want to break it down here. St. John. Chapter 12. Chapter 12. And verse 27. And verse 27. Now is my soul troubled. My soul. Let, let get this. Give me that verse 26. At verse 26. All right. If any man serve if me, any man serve let me, him follow me. Let him follow me. And where I am, there shall also my servant be. Yeah. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Yeah. Now is my soul troubled. Now my soul is troubled. And what shall I say? What shall I say? Father. Here's that body praying to the spirit, That's showing right. the church the body mm -hmm. that we got to pray to the spirit. That's right. Eh? That's right. Father, save me from this hour. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Don't you want God to save you? Amen. Letting you know the church needs deliverance. That's right. Church needs saving. That's right. Save me from this hour. But for this cause, but for this reason, came I unto this but hour. But I come to this hour. Father, Father, glorify thy name. Glorify thy name. Then, then came there a voice from heaven. Is everybody listening? Amen. Is everybody listening? Amen. I want everybody here, listen, and you that are watching, listen. Father, glorify thy name. Father, glorify thy name. Then, then came a voice from heaven. A voice spoke from heaven. Saying, I want you to listen closely to what the voice said. Saying, I have both glorified it. The voice said, mm -hmm. I have both glorified it. And will glorify it again. And I will glorify it again. The people there. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Amen. The body, what did the body hear? What did that body hear? The people answered. No, did that body hear? Father, glorify thy name. What did that body hear? Then came there a voice. You better hear Amen. You better hear what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. The body heard a voice. There came a voice from heaven. And what did the voice say? Saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. The voice was specific in what it said. Right. I've glorified it. And will glorify it again. What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm already glorifying the name of Jesus. That's right. But I'm going to glorify it again because mm. when I glorify that body and put it in a glorified state, mm -hmm. I'm going to take your name where it never was. Right. You see why you here, your name only goes through various regions. That's right. But at a point in time, it going to go into all the world. That's right. Hey! That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Why are you here? Go ahead. Your voice, your name. Just go in the little bit places. Right. But before for me to glorify it again, again. for me to glorify it again right. I gotta take you to a higher level that's right so you gonna put on the same glory that I have that's right then I'm gonna take your name to the uttermost parts of the earth that's right that's right the body heard very distinctly mm -hmm. what the spirit said I have both glorified it. I want you to pay close attention you too that's right I have both glorified it and will glorify it again now that's what the spirit said to the son of man. Right. They heard that statement. Mm -hmm. Now the people was around listening at what they heard. The people, therefore, that stood by and heard it said. They, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. They heard it. Mm -hmm. Said. That it thundered. It was thundering. Right. <laughs> to them, it was just thunder. Thunder. Noise. That's right. That's all it was to them. Noise. That's right. That's what it meant. The men that were with me heard a voice. Heard a voice. But seeing no man. Then the other scripture said heard they not heard the not voice. the voice. They heard the voice, mm -hmm. but they didn't hear the message. Right. To them, it was noise. Noise. Just a sound. That's right. Why wasn't it for them? Because I have paid unto you to, to make you a minister. That's right. Huh? That's yeah. right. Making a minister out of one. That's it. The other men, the message wasn't for them. That's right. He wasn't making ministers out of them. That's why he say, I have appeared unto, unto thee, thee. Unto thee. That's it. This day to make thee a minister and a witness. All of them heard it. But they didn't get the details of it. That's right. It was just noise. That's right. Thunder. Thunder. From heaven. Mm -hmm. Let you know heaven got a language. That's right. That's right. When it's thunder, that's a message. That's right. And it takes the understanding of heaven and the interpretation of God mm -hmm. to get the message. That's right. Now, being that thunder is a noise, when you don't have understanding, 
and the gospel's being preached right. to you is just noise. Noise. That's right. Hey, hallelujah. Hey, it's just noise. That's right. Thank God. But when your understanding come open, Amen. Yeah, 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 you're able to get the message. What would this babbler say? If, if you don't understand, mm, it's nice. That's right. When you're told to repent mm. and be baptized, everyone. Glory to God. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. It's just noise to you. That's right. But when you understand him, that's right. You'll start taking off your clothes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. Go ahead. You'll take off your clothes. That's right. You'll go down in water. That's right. Why? You understand, you understand the noise. That's right. When somebody speaks in tongue mm -hmm. and you don't have the interpretation, it's noise. Noise. Noise for you. That's right. But when you're able to interpret, that's right. When Jesus was on the cross, Ellie Ellie. Sabathany. Everything that was around there couldn't get it. That's right. They start guessing. That's right. Calling for Elijah. Amen. Let's see what Elijah help him. Amen. But the apostle understood it. Amen. He reached back and got David. That's right. And That's right. said, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? That's right. He knew the spirit had to come out. Go ahead. Had to come on out that body. That's right. Go down to him. Go ahead. Come on back the third day. Go ahead. You that are watching, Hallelujah. Well, you don't understand the message mm. to you. Sunday. I'm just a noise oh, maker. Noise. Babylon, Babylon. But when you understand the message, you'll come out your Baptist church. That's right. You'll come out your Methodist church. That's right. You'll come out your Jehovah Witness church. That's right. You'll come out your Apostolic church. Amen. You are coming away from the altar That's of the right. Catholic Church. That's right. The priest that lay aside his hat yeah. and go down in the water. That's right. That's right. When you understand the noise, understand. that's it. You got the message. That's it. So when they heard the voice, mm -hmm. they heard the noise. Thunder, thunder. When they didn't hear the voice, they didn't understand the didn't message. Understand the message. It wasn't for them. That's right. I have appeared unto thee to make thee a minister. And a witness. And a witness. Are you listening? That's right. Go back to the first chapter of the book of Acts. Hallelujah. I want to teach you apostles out there. Back in Acts chapter 1 and verse 21. Because you apostles, you different from these brothers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You different from these brothers. Oh, yeah. Huey Rogers. Mm. Mr. Rogers. Oh, ye priests. Say you're an apostle? My Lord. Then why do you condone divorce? That's right. What are you doing ordaining women? That's right. What a pastor in God's word ordained women? Right. You men have took the title of the son of God right. and misused it and abused it. That's right. That's right. Just for prestige. That's right. Hmm? Thou has tried them. Do you hear this? In the book of Revelation chapter 2 and at verse 2. Thou hast tried them. Which say they are apostles. And what is the conclusion? And are not. And never, has, never mind, Pastor Jennings. No. What did the Bible say they are? Thou hast tried them which say they are apostles. And are not. And how did we find their testimony? And has found them liars. They found them liars then. Right. And now that's written for my learning. So that's I can right. find your liars now. That's right. Back to the first chapter of the book of Acts. Let's see what happens when an apostle dies. Back in Acts 1 and at verse 21. Oh, this is what the Holy Ghost brought here. Wherefore of these men which we, have come we want, in. We want to put order in the church. Yeah. You got to have order in the church. Amen. You mean to tell me all this stuff around here claim the apostles Amen. and everybody got something different? That's right. Everybody. Everybody got something different? Everybody. Do you know an apostle hold a mystery? Mm -hmm. Until Jesus says this, it's given. Given unto you unto to know the you. mystery. To know the mysteries. To know the mysteries. But unto them that always help. All things are done in parables. Everything is done in parables. Parables. But to them it is not given. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. What did he say? But to get them. them verse, son. Matthew chapter 13, we're at verse 11. Follow me. Or I'll and start get at me. verse 10. All right. And the disciples came and said unto him. The disciples came and said to him. Why speakest thou unto them in parables? 
You speak to them in parables. He answered and said unto them, because what? it is given unto you. Just get, listen. Jesus, why you talk to all these other people in parables? Amen. The reason why I do that, because you fellas are different. Mm -hmm. You fellas are different. That's right. That's why I talk to others in parables, in parables. because you fellas are different. That's right. There's something that's given to you that they don't have. That's right. Now listen at Jesus. He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Wait a minute. When you know the mysteries. 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 Oh, yes. Of the kingdom of heaven. Amen. That mean that stuff is not given to just anybody. No way. It is given unto you. A lot you. of it is dark sayings. Oh, yeah. Deep sayings. Oh, yeah. But to his apostle, he said, is what? It is given unto you. Hallelujah to God. To know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Do you know this year alone, so far, so far, and they're still counting, this year alone, 1,097 souls went down in water. Amen. Amen. 1,097 souls went down in water. Last year, 881 went down. Amen. Just from last year to this year, 1,978 souls. Wonderful. That's wonderful. Do you see how God do things? Amen. Look at this now. Because it is given unto you to, to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. It's given. Mm -hmm. It's given. Given unto you. It's given unto us to say there's no flesh and blood in heaven. <laughs> That's right. It's given That's unto given. you. <laughs> That's, given. That's given unto us. It's given. Jesus on the right hand of God. That's given That's unto given. us to understand it. That's right. It's very plain. That's right. It's not even dark to us in no form. Amen. Huh? It is given unto you. Why? What does that pertain to? It is given unto you to know the mysteries. Of what? Of the kingdom of heaven. When you talk about God, you talk about his kingdom. Yes. Right. That's right, sir. But what? But to them. But to the other fellas. It is not given. That's why it's all messed up. Three gods and two gods and five gods and in India alone over three million gods. Therefore, therefore, speak I unto them in parables. That's why you got to make parables. Because seeing, seeing, they see not. They got the Bible in the churches mm -hmm. and see the scriptures literally by reading it, mm -hmm. but yet they said, the book says what? Because they sing, see not. They see it by reading it. Mm -hmm. But they see not because they don't understand it. And here, that's, that's why so many of you now baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Right. Seeing, you see not. Matthew 20 and 19, but you don't see it. Right. Huh? That's right. You see it, but you don't see it. That's right. You see it by reading it. That's mm -hmm. it. That's all. You just look at it. Go here, therefore, and teach all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. You see that scripture. You see it. But yet the Bible says. Because they sing, see not. You see it by reading it. Mm -hmm. But your other state of being is what? See not. But you don't see it because you don't understand it. That's it. That's why so many of you go to your church and the preacher say, I therefore baptize you. The one that's baptizing you don't even see you it. You don't see it. That's right. Candidate don't see it. Preacher don't see it. Usher board don't see it. Deacons <laughs> don't see it. Trustee board don't see it. Board of directors don't see it. Uh, a non-seeing church. That's right. All of you baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you see Matthew 28, 19 by looking at it with your eyes and reading it. But yet you see not, see not because you don't understand it. That's right. And that's why Jesus says this. If the blind, that got your pastor. If the blind lead the blind. That got your pastor. Get me, get me, get me now. That's right. That got your pastor. Matthew chapter 15. That got your Jerry 15. Curl head reverend. Mm -hmm. That got your ponytail wearing bishop. Yeah. That got your toupee apostle. That's right. That's right. Do you hear the word of God talking? Matthew 15 and verse 14. Let them alone. What? Let them alone. Let them alone. They be blind leaders. They be blind what? Blind leaders. Plural. Leaders. Ain't no elder can just jump up and declare a man to be an apostle because he feel like it. No way. How was he called? Who sent him? Mm -hmm. 
What kind of revelation do he have? Mm -hmm. how, how can he open up the scriptures? Can he dissect the scriptures? Yeah. Blind leaders. There have been a teaching going on for years called the premillennium. What? Premillennium. Taught in a lot of churches. Premillennium. Pre a resurrection before the church. Been around for years. You see, I'm an investigator. Amen. I, history is a subject that I love. And I love to search back and evaluate what men taught right. 50 years ago, 100 years ago, 200 years ago. And then I trail certain teachings and see how it just crept in so many churches. Premillennium been taught for years. Mm. There's some that teach the resurrection past. If the resurrection past, all of us going to hell. Finished. I mean, everybody in here is in trouble. Amen. And I ain't coming back in 2016. Who, who concerning the truth? I ain't coming back in no 2016. No. If the resurrection past, there's no need for me to come back. That's so right. what? That's you right. leave here tonight, go wherever you want to go. Mm -hmm. Why? You're going to hell anyway. Anyway. Second Timothy We're late. 2. Mm -hmm. Listen at this. Second Timothy chapter 2 and at verse 18. What is it? Who concerning the truth. Who concerning the truth. Have error. Have error. Saying that the resurrection. Saying that the resurrection. Is past already. The Lord saw them coming. That's right. He said that the resurrection is past already. And overthrow the faith of some. They overthrow what? Overthrow the faith of some. That's why we're living so hard television viewers and you that are here. That's right. So your faith. In the truth, mm -hmm. don't be overthrown. That's right. Hmm? That's right. You have to get holiness in you so deep until your brother can't bring a lie and trick you. Amen. Your mother, your father, your sister, your husband that you sleep with. That's right. He may whisper in, the, in your ear, but <laughs> if he whisper a lie that contradicts the word, amen. amen. You're not so out of it, you'll believe it. That's right. Hmm? That's right. It has to be in you. Oh, yeah. Are you listening to what I'm talking? Amen. Go back to the book of Acts. I want to finish up the apostleship. Back in Acts 1 and verse 21. Mm -hmm. Wherefore of these men which have companied with us. Uh, uh, hold that and let's go back and finish up. I'm so much coming to my mind here about Paul being the least of the apostles. Oh, yeah. And then the scripture that he's the least of saints right. in the book of Ephesians. Right. Because I want to correct the lie that Paul is the last apostle on the earth. <laughs> That's fool. right. That's right. You're so foolish and so deceived by your daddy, the devil. Mm -hmm. 15 chapter of the book of 1 Corinthians first. And then I, we get the book of Ephesians. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 9. Listen. For I am the least of the apostles. Now, he's showing you how he felt. Right. Then he's going to give you the reason why. For I am the least of the apostles. I am the least of the apostles. That am not meet to be called an apostle. I am not worthy apostle, to be called an apostle. Because I persecuted because the church of I God. Because I persecuted God's church. That's right. That's why That's I right. felt as though I was the least. That's, right. That's why I felt as though I was unfit. Mm -hmm. That's why I felt as though I was unworthy. Because I kept reflecting on my past. That's it. But yet he used the word least. Least. All right, now notice the book of Ephesians. Now in Ephesians chapter 3 and Here verse 8. Here with you an apostle, you can make the scriptures harmonize. That's right. Huh? You got harmonic ability. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Scriptures hit the right tone. Amen. Amen. Come on, son. In Ephesians chapter 3 and at verse 8. What is it? Unto me. Unto me. Who am less. Who am less. Than the least of all than saints. Than the least of all saints. Is this grace given? You mean to tell me it ain't no more saints? No. Oh. There ain't no more saints. No more. He used the word least there. Least. There ain't no more saints. That's right. God said in Luke eleven forty nine, 49, I will send unto them. Send them. Prophets. Apostles and, and prophets. And prophets. The Bible said God has set some in the church. First. First apostles. Apostles. First. So if, a, if someone die who declare themselves to be an apostle, mm -hmm. Yeah. You can't be taught by an apostle and then claim God raised you up to be one. No, no. All that revelation you claim you got, mm -hmm. revelation is supposed to come from God to the apostle. In, Acts, in Galatians chapter 1 and at verse 17. That's what? Neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were apostles before me. 
Oh, they get chapter and verse again. In Galatians chapter 1 and at verse 17. Listen, do you know the apostle didn't add nothing to Paul? No. Paul was made so well, he looked at the others and said, whoever they seem to be, they make it no matter to me. No matter. Didn't impress them at all. That's right. They who seem to be somewhat in conference. Wait a minute. You out there that say you are an apostle, I'm encouraging you. Let's come talk. That's right. And this is how you do it. For they who seem to be somewhat in conference. How? In conference. Tell me, I want to know how you made. Amen. When did God appear to you? Mm -hmm. What kind of anointing you got? Yeah. And you shouldn't need one tape from Bishop Johnson to learn anything. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. You shouldn't need a tape from Johnson. You shouldn't need a tape from Lawson. You shouldn't need a tape from no preacher. No preacher. That's right. Shouldn't need it. That's right. You shouldn't have to check with Johnson to say is your gospel right. Amen. Because if God made you, he give it right. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah to God. For they who seem to be somewhat in conference. Ah, how do they talk? In conference. How did Paul feel? Added nothing to me. Now, you can't, it don't add to him. That's right. Why? But contrary wise, when they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision was committed unto me. You see, this is committed to an apostle. That's right. From God. That's right. Now, when God committed this to an apostle, mm -hmm. the other apostles will notice it. That's right. Yes, they will. Why? Because they had the same spirit. Mm -hmm. You mean to tell me wisdom is an apostle and I'm an apostle? Mm -hmm. He's supposed to be able to tell when he hear me. He's supposed to be able to tell not only God is in me, but the information that I got, I got from God. That's right. Because when he hear me, it, it would arouse the spirit in him. That's right. That's right. Same spirit would be in him. For he that wrought affectionately in Peter. It got a wrought. You see, it wrought affectionately. It, uh, it worked in Peter. That's right. Do you hear it? In Galatians 1, uh, 2 and at verse 8. He, he that, who? God. That's right. That worked in Peter. To the apostleship of the circumcision. God that manifests his apostleship to Jews. The same. That same God. Was mighty in me. He worked in me to Gentiles. Toward the Gentiles. And when what? And when James, when James Cephas, and John. Cephas and John. Who seemed to be pillars. Who seemed to be steadfast. Perceived the grace. That's what I mean. You That's see it. that? They perceive it. Perceived it. They perceived it. Out of conversation alone. Yes. They perceived it. That's right. Paul wasn't with us, mm -hmm. but when we talk about Jesus, Amen. God, we can see how God revealed his son in him. That's right. They perceived him. Perceived the grace. He got the same baptism we have. That's right. That's right. Amen. The same. Same thing. He that wrought effectually in Peter. Who's rotten in you? <laughs> That's it. Who's working in you? He's working in you. Apostle. Amen. Why are you giving women the right hands of fellowship? That's right. How is that? How, how is that? Mm -hmm. Apostle, mm -hmm. how is it that if you don't wear five colors, you're going to hell? <laughs> Amen. Where did that come from? <laughs> Get me. I want to soak you a little. How is it you're baptized in Jesus' name? That's right. And not the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Or Lord Jesus. Amen. How is it then, brethren? After the preacher's done preaching and he's an apostle, a brother should not come behind him and say, anybody want to be fellowshipped into the body? No, no, no. 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 That is not the works of the apostles. No, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you listening? Amen. He got to have the same Peter, the same, same spirit mm -hmm. like Peter had. For he that and wrought, Paul had. Mm -hmm. He that wrought. He that wrought effectually in Peter to the apostleship of the circumcision, the same, the same. was mighty in me to the know, Gentiles. Listen, don't you know if the apostles were here now, mm -hmm. they'd give me the right hand of fellowship? Yes, they would. Perceive the Lord grace. Take God, they can examine me from A to Z. They will perceive the grace that I have. That's right. That's, that's wonderful, brother. That's, Hallelujah. That's wonderful. I can say that without flinching. Amen. Them former brothers could perceive the grace yes. that I have. Amen. 
Lord, thank God and extend to me their hands. Their hands. That's something, brother. Amen. Amen. They can extend to me their hands. Mm -hmm. And when James, Cephas, and John. And, and, and if Pastor Teller is with me and he's the elder, no. they ain't going to shake his hand. No. Because they're going to look that he should have what the Apostle Genesis has given him. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Why? He's like Titus. Like Titus. That's right. Amen. Your apostles. Amen. Who are danger. Mm. Who sent you? Who sent you? Yeah. You elders who are danger. Yeah. Where did you get your authority from? That's it. Who made you bishops? That's right. Some of you say you ain't got to be ordained. You a liar. That's a lie. Titus 1 and verse 5. Says what? For this cause left I thee in Crete. The apostle tells the elder where to go, when to go. What to do when you get there. That's right. How long to stay there. That's right. There's not an elder or an apostle in the Bible. Believe the women preachers, remarriage and divorce, preach against speaking in tongues. Yeah. There ain't no elders like that in the Bible. No, no. But you raggedy, apostolic, Pentecostal hypocrites. <laughs> Amen. You're hypocrites. Amen. Yeah? That's it. You're hypocrites. That's right. Or that God, I take the church and blast it into hell. Amen. Come on, son. Titus 1 and verse 5. I don't five. care how many members you have. No. I don't care who's your pastor. If your daddy is your pastor, mm -hmm. yo, he ain't right because he's your daddy. No. Listen, woman, I don't care if you're trying to support your husband mm -hmm. because he's starting the church. Amen. And his dresser is his pulpit. That's right. If he don't come along with the Bible, take the dresser and put your clothes back in it. That's it. Yeah. That's right. That's right. What did the Holy Ghost say here? For this cause left I thee in Crete. For this cause I left you in Crete. That thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanted. Did you hear the apostle instructing this elder? That's right. Instructing this bishop. Mm -hmm. Put things in order. The things that are wanted. And do what? And ordain elders in every city. Why? As I had appointed thee. Somebody wrote me and said, if you're an apostle, why you don't go around ordaining the elders in every city? Because I'm not foolish. That's right. The qualification you got to meet first. That's right. Finding the elders in every city is like finding a cat that have just as much legs as a spider. Amen. Most of these men that want to be elders already done divorced their wife. That's I can't right. ordain you. That's right. Living together, not married. I can't ordain you. No. You out making babies. I can't ordain you. Oh, you no. starting your own church. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Can't ordain you. No way. Mm -mm. Never spoke in tongue. Can't ordain you. No. You henpeck. Your wife boss you. Can't ordain you. Amen. Your wife tell you, don't you work on that church no more. You don't. You stop working. That's I can't right. ordain you. That's right. Can't ordain you. No. Can't ordain a henpeck. Can't ordain a man who ain't got no spine. No way. No way. Wife tell you, I don't want you to go to church tonight. Okay. Can't ordain you. Amen. Amen. No. Not fit. Amen. Amen. Do you hear what the word of God said? And ordain elders in every city. Can't can ordain, ordain an arrogant, proud man. Arrogant, you know, you can tell a man love money because when he get a little bit money, he always say, oh, man. You know, they, they call me Mr. <laughs> You see, he, he's not used to being called Mister. So when he get a little bit of money and it went all in his veins, you can't that's ordain right, him. That's right. Not fit. Not fit. Can't ordain Mister Fool. Mm -mm. No. Before he had money, he was just fool. <laughs> now he got money, Mister Fool. Can't ordain him. Amen. Can not can ordain Mister Fool. No. Qualification you got to meet first. That's right. There's an order. That's right. You can't ordain them because they've been coming to church for the past 15 years. <laughs> huh? No way. Elder this, elder that, elder the other. And then when you get up and listen at them, all they do is for an hour is give a testimony. Amen. Don't open up no scripture. Don't explain nothing. No, no. Nothing. 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 What did he say there? And ordain elders in every city as I had appointed thee. All right, what qualification they got to have? If any be blameless. Uh-oh. Mm. 
Right there. Right there. Can't be no gambler. No, no. Can't be playing a number. No, no. Can't be playing bingo. No. <laughs> Can't be shooting crap. No. If poker. Mm -hmm. No. No. No way. Amen. Can't be a homosexual. No. Come on. Right. That's right. No way. Blameless. Holy Ghost says what? If any be blameless. How many wives you got to have? The husband of one wife. That don't mean you got to be married to be a preacher. That's right. That simply lets you know if you are married, the Bible mentioned how many wives you can have. One wife. You ain't got to be married to be a preacher because marriage don't make a preacher. That's right. That's right. I had some say, look, I, I, need, a, I need a wife to preach. Mm. You ain't fit to be ordained. That's right. A wife is not the gospel. Amen. Well, I can preach better when my wife is we in the building. I know I got that support. When you got it like you're supposed to have it, <laughs> if you never have a wife and never see her, your support come from God. That's right. That's right. Pastor Paul said, at my last answer, mm -hmm. no, no man, man stood, stood with, me. with me. All men forsook me. Mm -hmm. He said, but God stood with, God stood with me, me and strengthened me, that by me, the preaching might be fully known. That's right. That's it. Your wife may get mad at you from preaching mm. and don't want to come to church. Amen. What you going to do? What you going to do? You might as well get ready to iron your clothes, That's right. hop in that car, and get on your post. Get on the post. That's right. Time Amen. is short. Amen. That's right. Glory to God. Do you, do you hear this right here? If any be blameless. These fellas go to these old raggedy preachers and get up and got a loud mouth and then they throw their hands on a stranger. Yeah. Don't even know who you are. Mm -hmm. Don't even know whether you got your right mind. <laughs> Amen. You don't ordain a man because that man said he had dreams. No. Can you imagine that? You're going to ordain a man because a man said he had dreams. He had dreams. Dreams come through the multitude of business. That's you right. don't ordain a man because he's your friend. No. You don't ordain a man because y'all grew up together. No, no. You don't ordain a man because he's your son. That's another thing that a lot of you preachers do. Mm -hmm. You see, we see you about to die and go to hell, <laughs> so you groom your son. Yeah. And that's the type of church that most of you folk are in that you're watching. That's yeah. watching me now. Mm -hmm. You go to a church, Bishop Brown was the bishop. He was the senior false prophet. That's right. And you see Junior Brown. That's right. Junior Brown, his son. <laughs> Why? He, he wants the son to keep up the Brown legacy Amen. of lies Amen. and hypocrisy. God, church is not related to nobody. Right. This is not a kinfolk church. That's right. God forbid if I die, don't go look for my sons. No. It's God to make a preacher. That's right. Don't, don't try to look for someone whose name is Jennings. That name ain't got no power. Amen. <laughs> yeah. That's right. The Bible says God put oh. down one. God and God up raise up, up another. another. That's right. That's right. If I die, you can't look for a Jennings. Looking for a Jennings, you might as well look for hell. Amen. Ain't no power in that name. No, no. saving grace in it. No. Amen. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. If my sons don't receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost and get the teaching in them, they ain't fit to be up here. No. No, no. Hmm? They're not fit to not be fit. up here. That's right. That's right. You don't put somebody up here because he's related to you. Mm -hmm. You know, some men tell young men, you got the gift. And the measurement stick they use is because they talk loud, got loud testimonies, and quote scriptures. Right. And just as unstable as a wave of water. That's right. Do you hear what the Holy Ghost says there? If any be blameless, blameless. 
Blameless. Blameless, all right. The husband of one wife. When you marry one wife, you got more than one wife, get out the pulpit and sit down and don't ever get back up again. That's right. Huh? All one of wife. you preachers that wife. are watching me right now mm -hmm. or listening over the air, if you have more than one wife, your first wife is still living. I don't care if you claim you are an apostle mm -hmm. or a bishop or a deacon or an evangelist or a pastor. Or you pastor. are an adulterous liar and a hypocrite and you're not a preacher That's right. sent by God, but you are a preacher of the devil. Of the devil. Did you get me? That's right. The husband of one wife. How many? One wife. No, a divorced wife. One wife. No, he divorced her. One wife. Amen. You're a preacher? A preacher. And you believe you can divorce? Mm. You're a false prophet and you ought to go to hell. That's right. Leave it to me, I'll put you there next year. <laughs> Man, that I can't put you there, but I can <laughs> preach about it. Amen. This is sad, folk. Yes, it because is. people was following this stuff. That's right. Some of us were victims of this stuff. Oh, yeah. Thank God, but the Lord brought us out of it. Oh, yeah. What did he say? The husband of one wife. One wife. Having faithful children. Having faithful not children. Not accused of riot or unruly. Now look under your roof. Your children should not be heard from inside, outside. That's right. Faithful Amen. children. Your children don't want to follow your rules, then tell them to get out. <laughs> That's right. Amen. 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 Faithful children. There's a law here. That's right. The law of God spoke here. Faithful children. Not accused my of children right don't want to do what I say. Get out. Get out. Get your Amen. own roof. Pay your own bills. That's right. Buy your own milk. Right. Eat your food at your own refrigerator. Use your own toilet. Amen. And your own paper too. That's right. <laughs> Having faithful children, not accused of riot or unruly. This is what God said. That's what God said. This is God's order. That's right. God ain't gonna change it for my house. God, God don't care nothing about that. No, no. You talk like that about your children, suppose they get upset. What do I care? Amen. If they want to get into the kingdom of God, they might as well love what I say. That's right. You better love what I say now to keep hell off of you. That's right. Amen. That's right. You don't know. You, you, you hear what the word? That goes all, all the ministers. Oh, that's that goes right. for all of them. That's right. I don't care how much you love your children. You better tell them what's right. That's right. If your, if your daughter or your son don't speak to you ever again, Amen. you better tell them what's right. That's it. Go ahead, man. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Amen. Amen. That's right. Having faithful children. Faithful children. You don't bring no bracelets in the house, no earrings, no makeup. Mm -hmm. Not accused. Amen. What? Not accused. Of riot or unruly. <clears throat> Not loud all in the street like a bunch of fools and barbarians. That's right. When you tell your parents you're going to work, you go to work. You're not sneaking in the club. Amen. Not accused. Not, not accused. Not accused of riot or unruly. You don't bring embarrassment to your house. That's right. That's right. Faithful children. Keep your virginity. Mm -hmm. Get me? Having faithful children. Amen. Don't be ashamed to tell that boy, no, don't touch me. That's right. Don't let him talk you out your bra. Go ahead. Faithful. Not what? Not a kill. Not a kill. A right or unruly. You ain't married, don't let that fella come accuse you. Accuse you. That's my baby. That's right. Keep your virginity. Amen. Faithful. Faithful. Don't give it up to nobody. Amen. Am I right, I said? Amen. Amen. Faithful children. I don't care if you're a 40 year old version. That's all right, old fashioned teaching. Old fashioned. And do you know so called apostolic churches are saying that I'm too strict? I'm keeping the people in bondage? Lord. I'm not keeping you in bondage. I'm trying to keep you out of hell. That's right. Amen. That's right. All these single parents today and these young women are left to carry the load by themselves. Yeah. 
Amen. The Holy Ghost said. Having faithful children, not accused of riot or unruly. Amen. You don't invite some boy to your house and you didn't get permission from your parents. Amen. That's right. When you respect yourself and respect your parents, you don't even invite a boy to your house to pick you up, Amen. to go anywhere without getting permission. That's right. I didn't say tell your parents. I said get permission. That's right. That's right. That's faithful. That's respect. Oh, yeah. Who in the world you think you are. Amen. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. You think you too old to ask? Faithful children. Go ahead. I'm 52, and I ask my heavenly father. That's right. Go ahead, man. You children, you under your parents' roof, Amen. ask. Ask. That's right. Ask your parents That's before right. you get cut off while you're out there. That's right. And Amen. then you die and go to hell because you went out wrong. Yeah. Care not how grown you think you are. Oh, no. If you're so grown, <laughs> grow in this. That's it. Are oh, you listening to the old man? Children. The Holy Ghost said, you, you don't have this teaching in churches no more. No. Churches are busy walking around. We the only one right. We the only one. Oh, shut your mouth. You're not even teaching the people nothing. That's right. That's right. What we're teaching the people is a necessity. Amen. You young girls watching us and listening to us, keep your virginity. That's right. Don't let no boy come along and talk you into pregnancy because you believe that bum gonna marry you. Amen. Is that a trap? Just to make you pregnant. That's it. You can't even afford to get married. <laughs> Amen. Get married. Amen. What is that? Having faithful children. And don't have a baby for your pastor. Go ahead. Am I right? Go ahead. That's right. Go ahead. That's right. Man. Don't have a baby for your pastor for either. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Get me. Faithful children. You see why they hate this program? Oh, yeah. I'm going to take God, but I'm going to give it to you now. <laughs> Amen. What kind of children? Having faithful children. What? Not accused of riot or unruly. Not accused. Look at some of the children coming to church out there smoking, yeah. drinking. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Don't love God enough, led by anything. That's right. Anything come along, just make them turn on their parents, disrespect God, disrespect stay so God. weak. Put a cigarette in your mouth. Okay. Drink <laughs> beer. Okay. Yeah. Smoke a joint. Okay. Amen. This is a generation that's on its way to hell. Yes, it on is. Way. Generation in their teens and in their twenties on their way to on hell. Way. Weak. That's right. Frail. Ain't got nothing for examples but rappers. That's right. And homosexuals. And, homos. and whores. Amen. Amen. That's the examples. That's the examples. Whores. That's right. Homosexuals. Yeah. And rappers. Amen. That's the example. People want to be like him. Are you listening? Amen. That's something. Young men don't want to be young men. Mm -hmm. Sugar. Endowed with sugar. <laughs> Amen. Honey and pollen. Falling all over the carpet. All together. Young men mm -hmm. want to act more like girls, and girls want to act more like boys. Amen. That's the devil. Why the hell? That's the I, devil. I, I have to take my lawnmower and cut it down. That's right. I got to cut it down. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Go ahead. And when you preach like this, television viewers, you, you write me. You ain't got no love. love. Amen. You ain't got no love. Yeah, that's the way I felt when my father took that belt out. 
and wore my behind out. Amen. I say he ain't love me. Yeah. I wasn't paying no attention that I'm the one that caused him to beat me. Mm -hmm. I was hurting. And Amen. that's the way some of you feel about Pastor Jennings. He don't preach with no love. No I love you. That's why I'm killing you. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You, you, you feel as though this is not love because you want your second wife. You want your second husband. You want to live together, not marry. You want to come to church and then be a DJ in a bar. Yeah. You can't get sweet. And get, get, let's get that, I believe, okay. in the book of James. James. I want to take my time and soak you. Mm -hmm. This is a happy new year message. That's right. You can't get sweet and bitter water mm -hmm. from the same fountain. You just can't. In James chapter 3 and at verse 10. Follow me. Out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing and blessing cursing. Blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. Wait a minute. Mm. What? Out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing and cursing. All right, you church folk. Will you please tell me how are you having a New Year's party in your downstairs church? Amen. Do you hear the word of God talking? Out of the same mouth proceedeth. The same mouth. Mm -hmm. proceedeth. Jesus, I never forget what you done blessing. for me. Oh, never. Blessing. Blessing. Mm -hmm. And, and cursing. What you gonna do? You gonna pick it all up? Jack me nimble, jack me quick. I said a jack jump pumper, the candlestick, six to one, seventy two. Same ten. mouth. How many left? How many left? How many left? Lit, lit. Yeah, all right. Same mouth. Same mouth. Amen. That's right. Am I right? I said. That's right. That's right. And same the Holy mouth. Ghost says about that what? Out of the same mouth. Out of the same mouth. Proceedeth blessing. Blessing. And cursing. Cursing. My brethren. My brethren. These things ought not so to be. Hypocrite. Amen. Amen. Shouldn't be doing it. Shouldn't be doing it. Doeth a fountain. Shouldn't be doing it. That's right. Ought not so to be. Amen. 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 Same mouth. Same mouth. Same mouth. Amen. Amen. Brother can't put on pants one day and put on a dress another. Yes. That's right. Holy Ghost says it ought what? Ought not so to be. My brethren. Who? My brother. He's talking to the church. That's right. Amen. Amen. Talking to the church. My brethren. Amen. 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 <laughs> Apostle, you ain't got no business sucking cigarettes and drinking beer. No, no. Out of one mouth, you got beer. Mm -hmm. Out the other mouth, Jesus is coming. That's right. Same mouth. Amen. Amen. Gospel and beer, same mouth. Gospel and beer. Same mouth. Mm. Are you listening? Oh, yeah. The Holy Ghost is talking here. Out of the same mouth. Out the same mouth. Proceedeth blessing. Blessing. And cursing. And cursing. My brethren. My brother. Church. These things ought not so to be. These things ought not to be. Do with a fountain. You can't preach against homosexuality and then go to a homosexual wedding. That's right. My brethren. These things ought not so to be. My brethren. That's right. Amen. 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 These things what? These things ought not so to be. You baptize in the name of Jesus Christ, have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. You don't have no business getting married to someone that's not in the body. That's right. My brethren. These things ought not so to be. My brethren. My brethren. My brethren. These things ought not so to be. Ought not so to be. Bible says, who's adorning? Mm -hmm. Let it not be the hour of adorning, plaiting the hair, wearing the gold, putting on the apparel. Let it be the hidden man of the heart, and that which is not corruptible, which is the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, and the sight of God, great price. Great price. What you said. That's right. 
When you got jewelry on, my brethren. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. Which? These things ought not so to be. Toupees. These things ought not so to Fake be. Fake fingernails. These things ought not so to be. Lipstick. These things ought not so to be. Earrings. These things ought not so to be. Men with long hair. These things ought not so to be. Hair extensions. These things ought not so to be. My brethren. Our style brows. These things ought not so to be. Ankle chains. These things ought not so to be. Burning your hair out with hot combs. These things ought not so to be. Hair dyeing. These things ought not so to be. My brethren. Tattoos. These things ought not so to be. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. The Holy Ghost said. My brethren. These things ought not so to be. Got a bar in your house? These things ought not so to be. Mm. Got a wine cellar? These things ought not so to be. You know, when I travel so many places, many of the hotels that I am in got refrigerators. Yeah. A lot of time I may buy some juice and open the refrigerator and they already got a stock. Amen. They got to stock with everything I don't want. Amen. And sometimes, usually the next morning, uh, housekeeping to come by to clean your room. Then another gentleman to come by. You want me to restock the refrigerator? I said, no, nope, because there ain't nothing I took out. <laughs> That's right. Many times, if me and my family go out to dinner, and we sit at the table, we was out one night to dinner, and the fella came and said, well, this is our drink menu. This is our wine and berry. I, I, I told him, hey, we don't want that. Don't want that. I don't even know why we're looking at no beer, no wine, nothing. Nothing. Amen. That's right. My brethren. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. Amen. Christmas is past. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have no gifts. These things ought not so to be. Bible speak against being a heathen. That's right. Amen. Who go to the forest and cut down the tree. Down the tree. You'll find that in the 10th chapter, chapter book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah. That's you right. heathen. That's you right. church going heathens. You church going apostolic, Pentecostal, non denominational, religious fakers. Amen. These things ought not so to be. They got Christmas trees. These things ought not so to be. Presents under the tree. These things ought not so to be. The deacon is dressed like Santa. These things ought not so to be. Ho, ho, ho. These things ought not so to be. My brethren. You better get on God's side now. God done That's kept it. you through 2015. They give you a chance to give your life to him. Now let us understand something. God don't owe us nothing. No. The only reason why you living is by God's mercy. That's right. You glory in your little money in your house because it's bought and paid for and you bragging that you own it. You don't own nothing. Don't own nothing. Just wait, keep, just wait till you die and see where you take your house with you. That's right. You don't own nothing. No. You don't even own the clothes on your back. No, You no. don't own your house. You don't own your shoes. You don't, you don't even own yourself. That's right. The Lord said all souls are mine. Mine. Amen. That's right. That's right. You that are watching me now, rich man. Hey, rich, rich man. man. Rich man. Look at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at you. Look, that's it. Look at you now in your jacuzzi watching me in your bathroom with a cigar in your mouth with three holes in your jacuzzi. Mm. Go ahead. Full of bubbles and splashing. That's right. Smiling and laughing, pointing at me. <laughs> making right. mockery at what I'm saying. Amen. Charge. And, enjoy your smoke while you can, you worm. That's right. That's right. A day going coming. A day coming. Yeah. You and your holes going to be in the deepest pit you ever was in. Oh, yeah. You rap us. Go ahead, brother. Entertain us. Go ahead. Talk show host. Mm. Politician. Go ahead. Glory to God, I got a gospel that talks to everybody. Amen. Go ahead, man. I don't care who you are. Oh, this man. message of holiness. Gets everybody. Amen. Who is it? Mm -hmm. 
that's so big, mm. you're not going to stand before God. That's right. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? I get letters from rich people mm -hmm. bragging to me about what they got. Amen. Some told me I was a fool. I'm a fool to preach this. Mm. Charge them that are rich. Huh. Do you hear? Here's, first, a, here's a scripture that's right for you. First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 17. Rich woman, rich woman, rich woman. All right, you got your mansion. And you, you got different men every night like someone trade cars. You're mm. just a rich hoe. That's all. That's all. That's all. I don't care if you are R&B singer. I don't care if you make your albums and have a concert. You got men in and you're nothing but a wealthy hoe. A wealthy one. A hoe that will go. That's right. Go ahead, man. And it won't be for long. Go ahead. That, that water bag gonna spring a leak. Yes, it will. Your yes, solid will. gold toilet gonna be gonna melt. It's gonna melt. <laughs> huh? Amen. The hairs of your mink gonna be burnt off. <laughs> That's right. Amen. That's right. You better watching me now. You was out partying on New Year's Eve. Shaking your hips, dancing. Many of you young girls got pregnant that night. Yeah. Amen. You put trust in the boy who put some drugs in your drink. Now they ran a train on you. That's right. Go ahead, man. Am I right, I said? Yeah. Go, ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. I got a hardcore gospel. Oh, yeah. What the devil do to the young people, make them get tired <laughs> of walking the way of God. Yeah. That's the devil trying to wear you down. Wear you down. Mm -hmm. And then you get foolish parents say, well, what a child need to do is go out there and experience everything first, then come to the Lord. Your parent that think like that is a fool. That's a fool. It ain't no, it ain't no God-fearing parent gonna think like that. No. Only a fool think like that. That's right. A wise parent have the thoughts of God. That's Flee right. also, yeah. fleshy, fleshy lusts lust. that war against the soul. That's right. Flee. It's for your safety. Mm -hmm. So you that are watching, you hear. Yeah. Had a young Spanish girl wrote me. Yeah. Say how she heard this message. <laughs> and used to be in a gang in, in California, a Mexican gang. She said this message turned her whole life upside down. Wonderful. She said she, she's not in gangs no more now. Wonderful. You have to hate your own life to walk with God. Amen. That's right. Homosexual wrote me. Got a letter from him uh, last week. Mm -hmm. and said how he was molested when he was about six. And as he grew up, he went on out there in that lifestyle. He hated church. He said he feared that church would condemn his lifestyle because he knew it was wrong. Mm -hmm. He didn't want nothing to do with God. He said, but he ran up on the truth of God and heard my voice. He said, I saw your message between you and Harry Knox. He said, praise God for that day. Wonderful. He said, your message of holiness have delivered me from the homosexual spirit. Wonderful. Wonderful. He said, and this is the ex-homosexual. He said, I want to encourage you. Preach against it. Amen. He said, preach hard against it. Amen. He said, I'm a witness that God can deliver you from it. People are not used to this type of preacher. No. You're used to preachers having their hands over their ears, hiccup and breathing like they got a bad chest problem. That's right. Organ playing behind them and shake the neighbor's hand. Don't you touch your neighbor. <laughs> Amen. The whole world now need to repent of your sins. Oh, yeah. These are the last days. Death is on the rise. Amen. And it's only by the mercy of God and the will of God that we see 2016. That's right. I want to encourage everybody 
turn to God. That's it. You that are watching, repent of your sins. What do you mean, Pastor Dennis? Be sorry about your wickedness. Be sorry about it. Come out of every church you're in. Now, there's hundreds of you that was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You don't be baptized the right way, then go back the wrong way. No. When you, are, when you repent of your sins and baptize in the name of the Lord Jesus, you got to come out the come church out. you're in, come out the religion you're in, and walk with the truth and stay in it. That's it. Stay in it. Come out. Come out. Got to come out and stay in it. Stay out. That's it. And learn the way of holiness. That's right. All of you that are watching around the world, God is calling for you. Mm -hmm. He's calling for men and women everywhere to repent. Mm -hmm. And be baptized. Be baptized. You must do it. Everyone. You must do it. Canada, Canada, America, South America, Everyone. Australia, Asia, mm -hmm. China, Japan, Vietnam. Amen. You must do it. Mexico. Every one of you. You must do it. That's right. Taiwan, you yeah. must do it. Yeah. Puerto Rico, you must do it. Must Brazil, do it. you must do it. Venezuela, Argentina, you must do it. That's right. Every one of you. How, mm -hmm. how, how? In the name of Jesus Christ. You that are here, it goes for you too. Yeah. If you've been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you ain't baptized. You're just wet. That's all. If you bow your head and raise your hand, you ain't saved. You've just been a sinner. Going to church for the past 20 years. Amen. Still a sinner. Yeah. Pray the sinner's prayer. Don't exist in the Bible. You're still a sinner. Still a sinner. Got sprinkled by the priest. You're a wet sinner. That's it. Your shirt just got damp. That's all. That's you got to repent, repent. And your whole body have to go all the way in water oh, in the name of God. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Every apostle, every bishop, every elder, every evangelist, every imam, every rabbi, every deacon, every churchgoer, every first lady, every son, every daughter, every backslider. You got to come back to God before you die. That's right. Many of you watching and looking at me now, you're dying. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Oh, yeah. You once were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, and now you're dying from cancer. Yeah. This is after you left God. That's right. You left God for a woman. Yeah. Amen. You left God for a second wife. Amen. You left God. Mm -hmm. You gave God up for a man. My Lord. My Lord. My Lord. You exchanged God for a boyfriend. That's right. Rem you exchanged God for a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. You exchanged God to be a preacher. Mm. You turned on teaching so you can get a title. That's right. What will a man give? In exchange for his soul. Glory to God, what will you swap your soul for? Yeah, that's right. That's right. How long must I stay with God oh. until I die? Until you die. I got to be faithful unto death. Unto death. Eh? No matter how many men you meet, yeah. none you should be willing to swap God for. That's right. No matter how many women you meet, mm -hmm. none, none you should be willing to swap God for. That's right. No matter how much money a job offer you, none you should be willing to swap God for. Doesn't matter of the position. None. Mm -hmm. You see, many don't love God, they just like Him. Yeah. That's right. The way some of us are, God ain't good enough for you. Mm -hmm. What shall a man give in exchange for his soul? When I met my wife, mm -hmm. she didn't make me second guess God regardless of how much I love her. No, no. I didn't second guess God, not a second. Amen. Is that the question? No. Why? God is more important than her. That's right. That's One right. day I may die or she might die, but God ain't. Amen. You foolish people. You foolish people. Foolish. You 
foolish people. Mm -hmm. Leaving God for a woman. Mm -hmm. Leaving God for a man. Leaving God for a boy. Right. Leaving God for a girl. Leaving God for money. Yeah. Leaving God for wealth. Yeah. Leaving God for cars and houses and dollars. You foolish people. What is a man profited? Go ahead, man. Amen. Mm. Do you hear the word of God talking? Matthew 16 and verse 26. For what is a man profited? What do you gain? If he shall gain the whole world. You got the woman you want. You got so many curves. You got more curves than all the routes and highways in America. Mm. That's a lot of squiggly lines all going on. Isn't it? <laughs> I don't care if that fella looked like Absalom. He got Absalom's hair till it caused him to get tangled up in branches. he get hung up in the oak. Amen. Got the hair of Absalom and the strength of Samson mm. and goodly to look too like David. Hmm. Amen. That's a combination, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Is he worth pushing God aside for? No. What is a man profited? I want to talk to you that are watching me by the thousands. Mm -hmm. You preachers. Mm -hmm. You preachers. Oh, because you, preach. you know what many you preachers done? You sold out for a woman. That's right. In fact, many of you preachers, because of a woman, you change your teaching. That's right. Am I right, I say? That's yeah. right. You got so close to some woman in your church or in the street. You change your standard. Which did sell himself. What? In the book of, in the book of 1 Kings 21 and verse 25. Oh, thank God. Amen. I thank God for television. Yeah. I want folks to see this stuff see being it. preached. That's right. Not just hear it, see it. 1 Kings chapter 21 and verse 25. Get chapter and verse again. 1 Kings chapter 21 and verse 25. Listen at this. But there was none like unto Ahab. There was none like Ahab. Which did sell himself. He sold himself. To work wickedness. To work wickedness. In the sight of the Lord. In the sight of God. Whom Jezebel his wife. Whom Jezebel his wife. Stirred up. Amen. Now, that, right script, that scripture right there contradict that old lie. Mm. But hold behind every good man. <laughs> every good woman. That's right. You old liar. That's Ain't right. Ain't no Bible said that. Ain't no Bible didn't say that. Paul was a good man. He didn't have a wife. That's true. That's true. He's a very good man. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. Very good man. Man can be good and never have a woman. That's true. That's true. Many of you preachers watching now. You believed in long dress and preached against, you know, looking like prostitutes, but all, but then you marry some foolish woman. His wife stirred up. Then every time you preached against it, your wife just fussed all in your ear all the way home. That's right. What do you mean keep preaching against that? I'm tired. I ain't going to let my dress down. Here you driving Miss Daisy. That's right. That stayed in your ear. Amen. I'm going to buy what I want to buy. Mm -hmm. His wife stirred up. Next thing you know, Bishop wife, mini skirts. Yeah. She had a, a skirt first. Her dress was down almost to her ankles. Mm -hmm. Then it went to the calf. Then it went to the back of her knees. Yeah. Then it went above the knees. Yeah. Then it went all the way up to the thigh. That's right. Then it went just below her backside. Lord. It's what, what did his wife do to him? Whom Jezebel, his wife, stirred up. Stirred up the weakness that was in him. That's right. And he did very abominably. You hell bound wife following preachers. Amen. Amen. You see it, what I mean? How it takes God to make a preacher? Yeah. Amen. 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 Because your wife hates the gospel or That's some right. woman in the church some that woman. you're paying to keep quiet. Yeah. Hate the gospel, That's you right. change it. That's right. To make her feel good. That's right. So now you say, ain't nothing wrong with little earrings. <laughs> 
As long as they ain't big, why? Your wife want to wear up. little earrings. That's right. You ain't got to cover your head now. Mm -hmm. Why? Your foolish wife don't want to cover her head. Right. That's right. He become nothing but a puppet for his wife. Amen. Stirred. Wife up. said, "Why we got? Why we ain't got? Why? Why, why we got to sew our splits up? I want to split. Just keep Amen. hounding them. Amen. If you ain't gonna give me no split, then you ain't getting this. Mm. Amen. 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 You preachers! Yeah, man. That's right. Move that recorder there. Then when that wife shuts you out. Shut you out. Now you in bed. Shut out. Have no withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Amen. What did Jezebel do? Stirred him up. Many of you watching me now, you are in churches that used to be strict and used to be firm and used to be solid until used your bishop married some church hooker. That's right. Am I right? Amen. Some church tramp. Yeah. Done took the church and flipped it upside down. That's right. Stirred up. Now the church, many skirts. Yeah. Women with pants. That's right. Men with dresses. Amen. Lipstick now. Mm -hmm. Am I right, I said? Amen. Yeah. Right. Right. Rouge all on the face. Why? He wanted to please some woman. Some woman. Till he gave her his crown and seat. That's, That's right. That's true. Yes, it is true, because that's what the king done. Mm -hmm. Whom Jezebel, his wife, his stirred Jezebel, his up. Jezebel, wife, did what? Stirred up. And he did very abominably. You got to watch me now. You got to watch it. And you got to hear. Have you been in the church mm -hmm. where the preacher's wife stirred the preacher up? Stirred him up. Have you been in churches like that? Amen. That's right. Preacher wife come in, her cleavage showing. Bishop don't say nothing. No, he won't. Bishop ain't saying nothing. Mm -mm. Why? She the boss. That's right. I wouldn't bound let a woman I'm boss me up. if it was only one woman on the earth. Just I'd rather woman. die. Amen. I refuse to become some woman's puppet. That's right. That's right. That's right. God forbid, if my wife was to rise up, I ain't wearing no more dresses no more. I'm, I'm putting on my pants. Mm. As built as I am, I want to show it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can see it with this long dress. I want to show it. <laughs> All right. Amen. Amen. Then we got to live under two different roofs. Oh, yeah. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, oh, no, no. We got to have two different houses then. That's right. That's right. You preachers. Yeah, man. Get man. Get, mm -hmm. Many of you preachers. Run out of their wits for women. Amen. In First Esther chapter 4 and verse 26. Now, let me say this. Mm -hmm. Some preachers, your first wife died. She was a good, strict, humble woman, respectable, and conduct herself according. Mm -hmm. It's not a sin if you remarry. Right. If your first wife dies, the law of God gives you permission, permission to remarry. As long as she's dead. Right. Not marry a sinner. No. The Bible the says only where? Only in the Lord. That woman got to believe the same thing only. that the word of God said. That's right. That's right. But if you're going to marry someone opposite, opposite, and then all of a sudden they done tore the church to pieces. That's right. They're not going to hear you. They're not going to hear the gospel. Mm -hmm. You done ran out of your wit. For what? For women. Let's read that. In First Esther chapter 4 and verse 26. You know we're covering a lot of ground here. Oh, yeah. 
Now, many of you that are watching me now, you can bear witness right now. Many of the preachers have just went out of their minds. Right. Turned the churches are all backward. Yeah. Women are making all the decisions, and they done took the Bible and threw it in the trash. That's right. Women have dominion over you. What? Women have dominion over you. you have chapter and verse. In First Esther chapter four and verse twenty-two. First Esther chapter four and verse twenty-two says, "By this also ye must know. By then also ye must know that women that have dominion. Women have rule over you. Over you. Do ye not labor and toil? Do you not labor and toil? And give and give and bring all and bring all to the woman. To the woman." Yea, yea. A man taketh his sword. A man take his sword. And goeth his way to rob and to steal, to sail upon look, the look, sea. Look, 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 look at, look at where some of these men are. Yeah. For a woman, there do what? Yea, a man taketh his sword, and goeth his way Today to rob. Today he do a gun. Right. Hold you up. Right. And do what? Goeth his way to rob. You sick, ignorant, hell-bound young men, mm. black, white, yellow, brown, and red. That's right. Some of you out there robbing and stealing because a woman a told woman. you to do it. That's right. Some of you out there robbing and stealing for a woman. Amen. You can't afford to buy her something, so you are sell drugs. Yeah. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's hey. right. You are sell drugs. Amen. Why? Keep that woman happy. You're a pick punk, somebody's mother. Yeah. They keep that woman happy. happy. You'll shoot somebody's grandmother. That's right. That woman got so much influence over you, she can manipulate you to kill her own mama yeah. and break in her own mother's house yeah. and rob from her own mother. Amen. And yet you say you a man, you are weaker than a neighborhood dog. That's right. Huh? That's right. <laughs> Women have dominion over you. Amen. When a woman ruined you, you lost your mind. What will you do? Yea, a man taketh his sword and goeth his way to rob and to steal. He'll rob, he'll steal. To, to sail upon the sea and upon rivers. He, he, no, what you mean? He'll steal mm. so he can get around. Steal right. a car. Right. Steal right. a car if need to be. That's right. Hijack a plane. <laughs> Amen. Rob an armored car. Yeah. Carjack somebody. That's right. Steal your bike. That's right. Why wow, a woman is waiting and saying, that turns me on. That's right. And, and when he had stolen. And when he stole. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. man. Get this. Now in 1 Esther 4 and at verse 24. When he had stolen. Spoiled. Spoiled. And robbed. And robbed. He, he bringeth it to his love. He bring it. Amen. I got Bible for everything we tell you. That's right. He bring it to his love. Wherefore. Wherefore. A man loveth his wife better than father or mother. That's something. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. What do you mean he loves his wife better than father and mother? mother? Father and mother instilled in him good counsel. That's he right. got some wicked wife. And his love for his wife is more greater than more the greater. counsel he received. Right. Until he respect what she said and push the counsel aside. That's right. That's right. All right, son. Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. When you run out your wit, you lost your mind. That's right. That's right. When you run out your wit, you lost your mind. Run out of their wits. And become servants for their sakes. Mm. I listen. Something. Amen. Woman, well, call your house. Mm -hmm. Come on and see me. And you're laying with your wife. That's right. That's true. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, I make up something. I got to work late. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's got to right. put in overtime. Yeah. That's right. Can't even pay your bills. Yeah. You are, I want this to be good for you men that are listening to me now. Yeah. 
because many of you have left your wife mm -hmm. and your children yeah but yet you no good low life church goers yeah. will go take care of some other woman that's right and her children a man leaveth his own father now in First Esther chapter four and verse twenty. First Esther four and twenty. This, this, this is the doctrine of the apostle. <laughs> That's right. Do you hear this? A man leaveth his own father. A man leaveth his own father. That brought him up. That oh hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. He leave his own father that brought him up. And his own country. And he leave his country. And cleaveth unto his wife. And cleave to his wife. He sticketh not to spend his life with his wife. He what? He sticketh not to spend his life with his wife. That's why you folks get prenups. Yeah. You don't plan to stick with your wife for your life. For your life. Do you hear the Bible? This is plain, is it not? He, that's right. He's Here's chapter and verse again. Now in First Esther 4 and at verse 21. Do you hear what it says? He sticketh not. He Sticketh not to spend his life to spend his life with his wife with his wife and remembereth neither father nor mother nor country he don't remember father mother or where he came from by this also ye must know that women have dominion over you amen there ain't no woman amen to come along mm -hmm. and make you pack up yeah. And leave your wife and your sons That's right. and your daughter. Right. And you're going to take care of some other woman and her son and her, sons. And her daughter. Amen. Amen. Am I right, men? Yeah. Talk back to me. Yeah. Wake up and talk to me. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. You men that are watching claim you from the hood. <laughs> You so tough and you so strong. Yeah. You are no good. In fact, I won't even call you a dog because the dog take care of pops. That's right. You are less than less, a dog. Less than. Amen. That you will leave your wife and children. Yeah. To take care of somebody oh, else's father. wife and children. My Lord. And you women that accept the man right. that left his wife and children, and oh, you think he's going to stay with you? That's right. Yeah, it's something. It will just hang with you enough to get all the juices out of you. <laughs> That's right. Am I <laughs> right? Amen. When he don't want no more, he's going to do you like he did his wife and kids. Yeah. If a man leave his wife and kids and yet want to take over you Another. and your kids, he done left his, yeah. don't accept him. That's right. Because he's going to leave you stranded. That's right. Men! Amen. Men, I say! And letting all those things go. Amen. If you didn't want to take care of your kids, you should have left the woman alone. That's right. Talk to me. That's right. If you didn't want to take care of your kids, you should have left the woman alone. Oh, you see, some men are not designed to take care of no kids. Right. They just want to get laid. That's right. But they don't want to take care of no kids. No. No, no. It's not in them. Amen. To be a father. Right. It's not in them. Be a husband mm -hmm. because it's not in them to be a man. That's right. A real man is one that obey God. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 And God is our example. Go ahead. How in the world are you gonna make a baby 
and they complain. Well, you know, she called, keep telling me the baby need pampers, the baby need, the baby need milk. I mean, I don't know what's going down. I got a life too. That baby is part of your life. It's part of your life. If you didn't want to take care of it, you should have kept your weak old drawers on. That's right. That's right. Now you got to get up two o'clock in the morning. And be the child's butler <laughs> and me. That's right. Amen. Amen. I got seven children. Yeah. My wife had to be the maid and I had to be the butler. Wow, we had to answer every call. That's right. When they cry, and that, that, you can't say stop crying, I'm sleepy. <laughs> no. You got to get that bottle. That's right. Warm it up. Take turns. Burping. Mm -hmm. Sleeping ships. That's true. <laughs> huh? That's right. Yes, you do. End up sleeping in ships. That's right. Got to relieve one. <laughs> Amen. Want to be falling asleep walking? Don't even know. <laughs> Not even hitting the baby on the back no more. Just doing something. That's right. It don't take from you. Let me tell you something, you men, you men, you men that's jumping around your church, jumping and shouting and flapping your arms like you got the butterfly effect. Amen. Go ahead. A man don't take care of children. Yeah. You should not be on the choir. No choir. You should not be on the drums. That's right. You should not be on the organ. Yeah. You should not be in the pulpit. Yes. You should not be ordained. Amen. Talk to me. Shouldn't have it. That's truth. How much spirit do you feel? And you can't put food in your children's mouth. Amen. Amen. Besides doing this, hey, no, do this. Let the spirit do that. Oh, oh. Hey. Get, give him that money. Amen. Am I right, I said? That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You win. Go ahead, man. Stop hooking up with bums. Amen. Stop hooking up with worthless. Do nothing. Do nothing. Stop it. That's right. Only way you can properly stop it is be properly taught. Amen. Stop falling for passages of scripture. Yeah. yeah. That's what happens. Stop letting men come to you using scripture. Using the scriptures. And think and project the appearance. Of God lovers. <laughs> Casting down his countenance. God lovers and God fearers. <laughs> right. And loving the faith. Faith lovers. And no works. That's right. Are oh, you listening to the old troublemaker? That's right. You don't want to take care of kids? Hmm. Keep your anatomy to yourself. Yeah. yeah. You sisters. Why even be interested in a man who got multiple children and won't take care of none of those children? Of those. Listen, if you see he won't take care of Bill, Jeff, Peter, Bartholomew, Absalom, Samson, Canaan, Melil, Jared, <laughs> Noah, Lamech, Issachar, Nephtali, Simeon, Dan, Judah, Levi, Benjamin, Joseph, Ahab, Josiah, Nebuchadnezzar, Belshazzar, Belteshazzar, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. If you see the way he treats his others, push them aside, 
reject them. That's right. What make you think he gonna do what come from you any different? Amen. Amen. So what you tell? What you say? I can change them. Yeah. I can tr I can change them or I I I I can control I can control them. Yeah. But wait a minute. Why would you marry a man you need to control already? That's you already right. need to control him? That's right. That's telling you you interested in a man who's out of control. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying a man that got children before he get married is a no good man. Right. Because if he's taking care of his kids, take care of them. Right. But I'm talking about a man who have kids and don't want to take wanna care of none. Right. He refuses. He just refused. Am I making myself clear? Yeah. I'm not talking about a man that had children and he work and take care of them. No. I'm talking about a man that have children and just refused. But yet shout. And still refuse. That's right. That's right. That's right. Am I right, man? Yes. You women, close your legs. Amen. Amen. And stop making having babies for bums. bums. Stop having a baby for bums. That's right. Amen. 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 You fathers, you got young sons and young daughters who want to get married. And you know you got a son or sons that are bums. <laughs> and there's a young sister in the church interested to marry. Mm -hmm. You tell the sister straight up what he is. What he is. No, 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 no. I don't, don't, don't marry my son. My son is a bum. That's right. Amen. Hey! That's right. Stay away from, stay away from my son. Stay away. Well, well, I, 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 he's a bum. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's right. Am I right, Taylor? That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. This young generation, you that's in your teens and twenties, there's a mass crowd of bums out here. It's a mass crowd. That's right. Lazy, many. Not all, but many yeah. lazy, lazy. do-nothings. Yeah. Don't want to even lift a bag of trash. <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. I want to help do nothing. You preachers, you're going to hell. You know why? Mm. You're not preaching nothing. Not preaching. The church is supposed to produce a people. Amen, that's right. That's right. Teaching maker people. That's right. You money loving, pimp driving hypocrites want to be like the devils on preachers of LA Go ahead. or preachers of New York. That's right. That's right. I want to be like preachers of God. Hmm. Amen. I'm not preaching to impress, nor am I preaching to be loved. I'm preaching to escape hell. Escape. Now, one right. thing about it, this will I do. I say like Paul, <laughs> if God permit. God permit. And now, O ye priests, o ye preachers, <coughs> this commandment is for you. Every preacher under the sun, you might as well start getting yourself right. <laughs> yeah. You children that's coming up in the truth of God, don't be ashamed of it. That's right. Whether you in <coughs> elementary school, middle school, high school, or college. Mm -hmm. Out there in the job force, don't be ashamed of it. Be ashamed. Don't be ashamed of where you're dressed down. Not being ashamed. Go ahead. What's the matter with you? What are you ashamed of? That's right. That's you want right. God to do for you? Respect Him. Amen. 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 Respect Him. Amen. Don't wear a skirt to school and then put on your friend's pants. That's right. You boys don't wear pants to school and then put on your friend's dress. <laughs> <coughs> it's backward. 
Respect yourself. Don't let the people on your job turn you to a tramp. That's right. We teach our young boys, respect yourself. Don't have your pants hanging down showing your drawers. Amen. You're supposed to be a young man, not act feminine. Your drawers showing for what? Draw. Every place you go, That's drawers right. advertisement. Amen. Advertising. Many of you women, your sons, even your husband, mm. advertise his drawers. <laughs> you better check and see, make sure your husband ain't on the down low. That's right. You that are watching, you that are watching, That's right. you that are watching and listening, no real man advertises backside. Amen. If your husband is showing his drawers, <laughs> advertising his backside, you better beware. beware he man. might be a queer. Yeah. yeah. Check him out. Check him out. I know you don't like this preaching, and I don't care if you don't. You better tune in again next week. <laughs> what I'm preaching will put you on the right path. Yes, it will. And it'll keep you there if you simply obey. That's right. Now you repent of your sins. Repent. Repent. Be sorry about your sins. Mm -hmm. Tonight, it's time to be sorry about your sins. Your lips all burnt up now from that hard liquor and cigarettes and joint fingertips all burnt. Amen. Lips like you've been bruised by punches. <laughs> That's from all that hard liquor. Hard liquor. Lips all burnt, scorched. Yeah. And you're getting older and doing the same foolishness you've been doing since you were in your teens. That's right. And won't stop. Yeah. Why? Young and so many friends you have is dead already. Yeah. You're not even 45. You're not even 30. You're not even 27. And yet you're surrounded by a cesspool of dead yes. friends. Yeah. Still haven't learned. Amen. What are it going to take for you? Live for God so That's you can give your children life. That's right. Live for God so you can live long enough to see your children grow to young men and young women. Amen. Do you know how many parents is walking their children to the grave? Yeah. You know, seem like there's more parents walking their sons and daughters to the cemetery than the sons and daughters walking their mothers or fathers? That's right. How did it get like this? You want to be like the rappers, yeah. cussing and shaking and bumping and grinding. Oh, yeah. You're partying and dying one by one. one, one. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Don't come visit me in person just so you can say, I saw that man, Gino Jennings. I watch your program every <laughs> Sunday night. Ooh, and I don't miss it. <laughs> That's all well and good. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to obey what we've been telling you? Amen. Or do God got to make your heart be irregular? Mm. I'm sent to you to tell you the truth. So when the Lord come, Hallelujah. you die right. Yeah. That's what I'm sent to you for. T.D. Jakes is sent to you to send you to hell. That's right. Creflo right. Dollar and Benny Hinn and Fred Price and all these false prophets are sent to you sent to keep you back from God. That's right. I'm sent to smash everything they preached to open your eyes open your to eyes. what God said. Amen. That's what I'm sent for. To open your eyes open your to eyes. everything that God said. That's right. Turn us from darkness to light. Yes. Thank God and from the power of sitting unto God. Hallelujah. Anybody want to obey God now and get on God's side? For once, get on God's side and leave Satan. Depart from Satan. Come out of Satan's family. And get on God's side and repent. And want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. 
If you want that, stand on your feet. Come on, stand on your feet. Come on. Stand on your feet. You want to be right with God? You see, look over there. You see where that brother and sister standing? All of you that are standing, go over there where they are. Come on, George. Get yourself ready. How to help you wake up when that water hits you. What time is it, brother? 12.20? Thank God for a new year. Thank God for that. You that about to go down in water, don't you step foot back in the false church you come from. Come on back tomorrow, Delaware, contact your friends, your family, your pastor, contact all of them. Amen. We're here in your town, four nights, hanging and banging and crushing everything. Crushing. That's not like God. That's right. We'll be back tomorrow night. Prayer begins, 7 o'clock. 2016 is here. 2016. Saturday night, prayer will begin 6 o'clock. All of you that is of my promotion team, all brothers and sisters that is of my promotion team, we will have 11 o'clock meeting on Saturday at headquarters on Frankfurt Avenue at 11 o'clock Saturday morning for all of you on my promotion team. So we'll be back tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, um, Saturday night, 6 o'clock, Sunday morning, 11.30, and Sunday night, we'll be on Frankfurt Avenue. Let us all stand. Brother Minister Webb will close us out in prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercy. We thank you for your love and for your grace. We thank you, Lord God, for your word. We ask you, Lord God, to help us to allow your word to sink in our hearts and our minds. Help us to remember the word of truth and strive to obey your word. Lord, we thank you for the man of God, Pastor Jennings, and all the ministers and brothers that is laboring in word and doctrine. Lord, be with us. Watch over us, protect us, and have mercy upon us all. Blot out all our sins and transgressions, and remember them no more. Lord, we thank you, and we ask this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, and all of God's people say, Amen. Amen. See you tomorrow night, 7 o'clock.